Get away. Hello, 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 everyone. I'm Naomi, and I'm here with Paige, and we're going to be running Pokemon Black. And that is marathon's going to be awesome. We're going to see all the regions, Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, you name it. And I'm going to take you to the Unova region today. Uh, but before we get there, we have some, uh, we have some time to do. Um, because we're going to do a manipped route where we take a little pup with a set of specific IVs. So I'm going to do that setup here. Um, and then I'm going to call out when to start the timer specifically, but it takes a little bit for this to get started. So I'm going to already get this going. So now we're just going to wait a little bit of time. How are you doing, Paige? Introduce yourself. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> of course it's an issue. Of course. <laughs> If the screen's white, it's intended to be white. It's not yet yeah, that that's intended because I turned off the DS. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Uh, so cool. starting out strong. Hold on, shut up. <laughs> yes. Go. All right. Let's All hope right. I did that right. <laughs> okay, let's go to the Unova region with Pokemon Black. Alright, so we're just gonna start off this game, like every Pokemon game, where we have our professor talking to us, talk about the world of Pokemon. And, uh, well, this yeah, is just yeah, a Yeah, isn't it Pokemon meshing. White? Because you had a white screen at the beginning? <laughs> no, it's Pokemon Black, <laughs> for a very good reason. <laughs> yeah. Because Reshiram is just better. Oh. I yes. probably should confirm that choice, huh? Okay, cool. Cool, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, and then for this for this run, there's two different there's um there's the a beginning manip, which is to be able to get a good um Snivy? Yep. To be able to get a good Snivy. And then afterwards you do another manip to be able to get a good Lillipop for the rest of the run. So yes. that's one of the main things that you have to mm -hmm. kind of mess with in the beginning. So you have to do two yeah. different manips in the beginning. And then also there's an extended manip, which Naomi will not be doing, but um what it is is that you can manip all the way until after the first city to be able to get your flying encounter. So Yes. Yes, uh, we will catch a Wubat for this because there's a 50% chance to encounter it. You're just going to see me hit 10 rock and rollers in a row, but technically it's a 1 in 5. Or one, wait, that's not how... Can, 1 in 2. I know how to do chance. You know, look, yeah, you percentage, look, right? I know percentages. 50%, <laughs> all right? 1 in 2. I know how it works. All right. uh, um, now let's hope I got the right Snivy because I did mess it up a little bit at the start. If it is the right Snivy, she will be female, and she will have a lonely nature. Audio is lagging behind the game. Gaming. Gaming. Alright, so we're gonna f uh, fight our rivals. Bianca is not a challenge, and she will never be a challenge. There's only one instance where she could be a challenge, but that's a a range that we will talk about way, way, way later. Right now, yep. all we do is just tackle the Oshawa. That's it. Is it the right Snivy? It is female. So, yeah. so, so Gen 5 has two rivals. We have Bianca and we have Sharon. And technically there's a third rival in N, but I don't think N is more of a rival as it is just the main villain of the game. Well, besides Getz, well, but yeah. you know, <laughs> Getz just kind of just comes in at the end to steal Anne's thunder. True. And then also we just take out our frustration that Asha Block got into Arceus, but Snivy did not. <laughs> I mean, Oshawa is a good choice there. Oshawa is a good choice, though. I will not. I will admit. <sighs> Better than Tepic, if if you believe some people. All right, so True. Sharon has Tepic. So Sharon will have the Pokemon is super effective to starter. The problem with Tepic is Tepic is super bulky. And um, because of that, we need to use Leer. 
and that can give Tepic a chance to kind of take us out. If this does happen, it shouldn't be too big of a problem, but let's hope it doesn't. Okay, thank you, Tepic. Tepic yeah, is doing very yeah. epic right now. We got the thank good Tepic fight. <laughs> yes, we got the Tepic fight that we should just get. All right. Now, these fights are kind of just, you know, simple. Not a lot. Not a lot going on. But... Uh, the next actual fight that we have to do, that's the tough one for Snivy. And it's also the last one Snivy will be participating in as our main. After this, Snivy is kind of just father. I'm sorry to spoil that. There is literally in the notes later on saying that we just kill Snivy. Oh. I won't be that cruel. I won't be that cruel. I won't do that to Snivy. <laughs> Mainly because I'm lazy. True. It's Thank you, Paige. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> True friendship. All right. We get our cross transceiver. I refuse to call it X transceiver. All right. And then we're just going to leave our house. And yeah, start of the game. You know, not a lot going on. Not a lot going on. Uh, We just have to pick up Bianca from a little fight at home. You know, you know as parents stuff. and kids do, you know. Dad doesn't want her to go, but Bianca's like, but I'm a good trainer, and I can totally do everything. <laughs> hey, don't laugh at that, okay? She was having a moment. She was having a moment. Alright. Alright. Let's get our Pokedex. And let's not rename Snivy. Now, for those who've never played Gen 5 or speedrun Gen 5 or whatnot, just so you know, all the later gens and current, the gens before that, they have a cool option called L equals A, which really helps for spamming and, you know, mashing buttons. And then later generations, you can use the, uh, the touch screen to kind of help you mash. Uh, this one has neither. It's just A and B, and it gets really repetitive. Yes, <laughs> especially and it since, gets really tiring. <laughs> especially since this generation has the thing called Getz's Monologues, which is a fantastic little piece of gameplay, one can say, where you just mash buttons while Getz's does his thing. So, you know, um, just wanted to point it out that I am in pain right now. Yes. <laughs> That is a lot. A lot of that's what a lot of people have said. But from, like from what I've seen, uh, is that they don't like about the only thing they don't like about this route is you cannot use A equals A. So you can't. You literally just have to set mashing A and B, A and B, A and B all the all the freaking time. And there's so much text in this game because, of course, this game had to be a game with uh, a game with story. Okay, but let's be real. <laughs> We needed the story for Pokemon. It's True. just, you know. <laughs> All right, first step of Route 1. Uh, I want everyone to grab their notes and uh, keep track of what's going to happen. We're going to learn how to catch a Pokemon, and I will quiz you on this later. All right. So let's see. All right, get a pirate. Oh, uh, even more fun for the, you know, just, you know, rub in the salt about the mashing. Uh, mashing with touch screen does work in fights. Oh, I actually so, did not know that. <laughs> so, you know, just to rub it in our face. Use a Pokeball after lowering its HP. So we attack first, then we use a Pokeball. All right. Okay. Noted. Even though half the time that doesn't work. <laughs> I mean... Even with red HP and stuff doesn't get caught because I'm not better. <laughs> you just increase your odds so you don't beat the odds, you know? True. Sending Snivy and set the chessman love. Thank you for the love for Snivy. Uh, she'll be needing it for the next fight, and that's all she'll ever need it for. Oh. So now, because we know what our RNG seed is, technically, I could walk this route without getting any encounters. However, while I have routed it out, I try to go for it every time. I never get it. So we're going to see if it works. It didn't work. Woo! Let's go. All right. This is Pat Rat. 
And it's the only time we'll see an encounter, hopefully. Oh, look at that. Now it's just a straight, straight walk to Bianca. And then, be, then there's a little Joe coming up. Let's compare. We don't have one Pokemon, so Snivy will get lonely. Little does she know, Snivy has a lonely nature. lonely. Uh -huh. She is lonely. I know. You know, I've played this so many times, I'm looking for the joy in the little things, and this always brings me joy. And the professor with the hand on her head all the time, no matter Look, what. it's very hot in Unova. <laughs> Alright, time for another tutorial. And yes. So basically, she goes throughout the entire... Um, goes throughout the entire Pokemon Center to show you what to do. So you heal your Pokemon, you go to the PC, you go to the Mart and do all this other stuff. And Bjork is just kind of following you around the entire time just because she's just like, oh, I don't know how to do this either. So, yeah, you just kind of follow you around, go to the PC, go whatever. And then after this, we're going to have one of the first monologues. Yay! <laughs> Don't spoil it. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, okay, one good thing to know about this, actually, if we do mess up the next fight and we do get, you know, critted a little too hard and Snivy just gets defeated a little too hard, um, we have to sit through the entire monologue again. So let's oh, hope no. this is the only time we see it during this one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this fight can be pretty bad at times. It is very bad. Yes. <laughs> and it's just because of Purloin being a little bit more annoying than it should be. See, speaking of annoying... Hello, Getsis. <laughs> All right. Huh? What? Yikes. Yikes. I don't know. No way. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes is right. Liberation? We must liberate Pokemon. Oh. I like the little formations you plastic grunts. Do. I know. <laughs> this is also that one grunt that just never. About to speak, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible. Alright, so it's time to meet with the only other person in this world who has one letter for her name, N. And, uh, well, N has a purloin, and this purloin is really annoying. So, the ideal strat is that we use Leer, and then we just keep tackling, and then we win. Purloin is always guaranteed, for some dumb reason, to growl. And that's the only reason why we use Leer, because otherwise we could just tackle, but, you know, there you go, there's the growl. Let's hope that that's the only Growl it does, and that we just win this battle of wits. Scratch. Tackle. Also, it's also faster than us, so that's also also cool. It yeah. looks like we can win this, unless it crits. It did not crit. Very cool. All right. Yay! Hardest fight done. Do -do -do -do. And that is Let's also go. the last fight for Snivy, correct? Yes, there is a double fight Snivy will be participating in, but Snivy's kind of just there. Emotional support Snivy. Alright. Well, Sharon's like, I don't know who this weirdo is, but I'm just gonna go to the gym and become the best trainer there ever was. Alright, so we're gonna get up on our second manip, the little pup manip. I'm not gonna go into exact details how it works but essentially our ds has a hidden value called a timer zero uh if we know what that timer zero is we can figure out what rng seed we are on in the game and because of that well it's actually the other way around if we know what rng seed we are on in the game we know what our time is zero is technically but because we know our time is zero we can basically generate seeds where we can get specific pokemon on and all we have to do is set a specific date and time and then start it at that specific time 
and then we just have to run into the grass in a very specific way sometimes it takes a couple of steps for me it's just walk to the left and win we'll see and uh, but right now i'm just gonna save and once it's saved i will turn it off and start it again and get ready and shout out to timer zero where it's not it is it is a different ds minute for every single ds and yes. also, sometimes it's not even consistent with DSs. It depends on your DS, but sometimes it's not even consistent. Yes. So this is this is one of the mo more interesting win-ups just because, yeah, Tiber Zero can be a butthead at times. <laughs> All right, so I'm starting DS right now. I'm holding specific buttons, select AB for my case. And then once you see the Pokemon logo, I'm going to let go. And we're going to go through the game again so now if all i have to do is just run to the left from this gate the first patch of grass will have a level seven mill little pup so let's see if we can get it that's an encounter doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet it's a little pup and it's level seven and it's male maybe. let's go all right There we go. Now, let's make sure that it catches. <laughs> yep. Little Pup is very likely, if it's not caught, to not tackle right away. If it does, we should survive. It uses an Otis Leaf usually. We got that. So let's hope this one catches. Ooh, okay. Okay. We might want to tackle this and heal. Because I do. I, two Pokeballs left is not ideal for the Flyer encounter. Okay. 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 Let's go! Yeah! All right. Now, this Pokemon is also the only Pokemon we're actually going to name, because this is actually the Pokemon we're going to use. All right. Here we go. And then we go to our little menu here. Put a little pup in front. Go through the grass, hopefully without encounters. That was not the greatest position to get hit him from, but that's fine. And now we're going to start the run. So this is the first trainer and the only really required trainer before we fight uh, our rivals again. This Pat Rat has Bite. We are faster than the Pat Rat, so we will always tackle first. Uh, usually it will go Leer and then Bite and we just lose 10 HP. If it crits, we lose a bit more. We got lucky with that roll there. So we're a bit more HP than I normally get, which is awesome. Now, talking about the little pup, right? This little pup is kind of strong. So just a uh, little bit. Just a little bit. You'll see a little bit later why. Let's see if I can get encounterless. Let's go. Let's go, yeah. encounterless. All right. Okay. So this little pup, it basically has perfect IVs for everything except for defense. It just has 30 IVs for defense. And it has zero IV to so special attack because we never use a special attack and move on little pup to damage any other Pokemon. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna fight Bianca and we're gonna show why this little pup is a little bit strong. Just a little bit. Just so you know, there's only two levels of difference, but only one leer and one tackle, and we just win the fight. There we go. Another level up. This fight is fine for you know, most of the run. This fight is not too bad. It's the fight after this. That's kind of kind of a pain. Because uh, you don't see it here because we're too fast in Oshawa. In Oshawa, you genuinely just go with Tackle. But the starters uh, of our rivals now know their elemental moves, which is uh, Ember for Tepic. And Ember has a burn chance. Now, if, I don't know if you know Pokemon, but if you get burned, your attack stat is significantly low, like your output yes. in general. So, what we want to do here is not get burned by Tepic. And after that, we're still not out of the woods because Sharon has a Purloin with Assist. And Assist allows them to use moves of their other Pokemon. So, it, I can get an Assist burn, which is also not good. Now, because it's a marathon, we'll just deal with the pain and just sit through the burn. But, you know, 
Ideally, we don't have to. Okay, that's Tail Whip. So for this Tapic, we're gonna do Tackle, Leer, and then another Tackle. Mainly because we don't want to get Tapic in a Hell Fink. This is good to Tail Whips. We are kind of in range for that little furloughing to hit us though. But we don't want Tapic to use their Ormberry. And for the Perlon, we just tackle twice. Let's hope Perloin doesn't hit us too hard. Let's hope this hits. Of course yeah! it does. Perfect. All right. We're good. We need to heal, though. Because the next fight, uh, the gym fights, the gym leaders themselves are not difficult at all, except for Lenora and Berg are a bit tricky. But, like, there's some trainers in this upcoming gym that are a bit annoying. In this case, it's Maxwell, the waiter. So... We will have to heal a little bit for him, just to be safe. Normally I would just go for it and just hope for the double flinch, but I'm not going to take that risk. Yeah. Alright. Gonna get some fresh water from here, speaking of which, I'm gonna hydrate. I, I have a question. Uh, you have yes. a male Lillipop. Is it a, would it ever be beneficial to have a female? Some runs no. you kind of have to deal with stuff like attract and stuff like that. So no. Yes. Yeah, so there is actually a Pokemon later on in Skylar's gym that does have attract and speed ties you. So you want to have a male little pup. For the oh, okay. Trend. So you want a male as well. Okay. Yes. Cool. Again, it's just for that one specific fight though. Yeah. Anything else is fine. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just asking. There is, there will be a run later in the marathon that might use a specific or want to have a specific gender as well. So we'll stay tuned for that. Ooh. Okay. So this Maxwell fight is actually going great. Maxwell's now being Woo! annoying. <laughs> Didn't need to heal after him, but yeah. Let's You're a train with a lot of pepper. All right. Now this gym, you just have to identify the type weaknesses. So the last type is gonna be grass. And chat, I wanna, I wanna know which of these is super effective against grass. Let's let let's let's do a poll. Let's see. I wanna, I, I wanna see. Water. Okay, that that's a choice you can make. Yeah, totally. <laughs> um, and then this is tackle twice. Oh, it uses bite. Perfect. Perfect. Now this Purloin can also be a bit tricky and annoying. Because again, if it uses assist and uses bite, we kind of just have to wait it out. Because you don't want to get caught in the crossfire of that one. Or we just crit it right away. Woo! That's what you love to see. Yeah. So, right. and another reason that Lollipop is so powerful in this game specifically is just because of, like, it has good speed, it has good attack, and... It just, especially in late game, it just plows through everything. It's yes. ridiculous how how strong this pup gets. And even in the beginning, as you can see from these fights, like it's just it's it gets stab tackle, which is really good. And it's and this is the first generation that tackle is one hundred percent accurate. Um, then you have everything else going for it you get return later on in the run you get you mm -hmm. get um retaliate like there's so many good normal type moves that you use throughout this run that little pup just literally dominates the competition a chili fight so the little pup can be a bit annoying but usually it should be fine i need to check ranges real quick Okay. Uh, what is it? Leer attack, attack in here. Guess I have to be safe. Uh, that's a Pokeball. That's a Pokeball. Um, yeah. Cool. That's chilly. That's the first gym. Alright, that was that didn't go as expected because normally Chili just works up before, but it went for a double incinerate. Which is fine. But there we go, first badge. First badge. And we have seven more to go. Uh 
Oh man. Exactly, Skoa. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I just read the chat, that's really funny. Look. <laughs> Generation 5 is perfect in every way, what are you talking about? Mm-hmm, totally. Totally. Meet Fennel, the annoying side character for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, so we get HM1 cut here, and the reason why we chose Snivy was first we influence what starters our rivals get, and then we also just have a Pokemon right away that can use cut. So we're gonna take full advantage of that. First, I'm just gonna quickly teach level cut workup. Set of Leer, and then we're gonna teach Snivy cut. We're gonna go to the dream yard. All right. So what we have to do now is we have to get some dream mist for Fennel. Um, that that involves us taking down some team plasma grunts, and it's you know it's it's one of those things in Gen Five. I feel Gen Five does a lot where we have like these side quests that are a bit too lengthy for my taste that are required. But you know, can't do anything about that. Yeah. Now, uh, talking about strong little pup, I actually pressed the wrong move. That's fine. Oh, perfect. <laughs> no, that works. <laughs> that works for me. Uh, it canceled out the workout. Uh, work up. Essentially, little pup just kind of just one shots both of these, and I know we're kind of over leveled, but still, it's kind of insane. That's a that's a very gets. reoccurring theme throughout the entire run. Honestly, it usually takes one work up. Do, 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 do. Hello, Bianca. Of course, our favorite rival, Bianca, is here to help us. Chat, who are you a fan of? Bianca or Sharon? I need to know. N is not an option. Those who say N are wrong. Paige, what do you think? Sharon or Bianca? Uh, to give it to... I had to give it to Sharon because he actually has a character arc. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they wow. actually both. <laughs> wow. Okay. We're just going to ignore the Nimbasa City cutscene. Huh? <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, uh, no. But for real, like, I actually do like Sharon that he becomes a gym. Spoilers. He becomes a gym leader in black and white. Hey. And I haven't played those yet. Yeah. This is Gen 5 apologist that hasn't played black and white 2 yet. Yeah, I, I have it here actually, like right in front of me. I was gonna uh, play it on stream like today or tomorrow. <laughs> uh -huh. My goodness. Alright, so we just have two plasma grunts. And it's basically just use the right moves. Even though right now PP management isn't really a thing, it's gotta be a much more prevalent later on in the run. And we get uh, Return, Reversal, and Crunch as our moveset. Right now, we don't have to worry too much about it. But, you know, it's nice to hit the Pope with the right moves. Another crit from Little Pup. This is actually insane. Thank you, Little Pup. Shout out to Little Pup. And shout out to the ability we have, too. It'll come in later. Oh, for um, real, we love Pickup. Pickup is awesome. But Pickup is, one, is awesome, and two, it eventually turns into Sand Rush, if I'm not mistaken, yes. or Sand... Yeah, Sand Rush. Okay, I was like, Sand Rails? Sand Rush. Sand then. Rails? Ooh. So, basically, it helps us with the sand whenever we get to the desert area. That way, it doesn't lose it doesn't lose us time, and we can be able to use it to our advantage. So, it's yep. really nice. All right. So, uh, the two Plasma Grunts got scared of by uh, Gestus just now, based on Illusion. Honestly, I'm with the uh, with the Grunts. I would also run away the moment I see Gestus, but I'm forced to mash A and B every time I see him. So, kind of unfortunate. All right, walk away. Doo -doo -doo. 
We're gonna get our uh, unusable social item. That doesn't even work anymore. True. Sad. Well, this, I think infrared still works, I guess, but, you know. <laughs> that was movement. I did that perfectly. Totally. <sighs> Alright, Fennel, just give me the thing and let me leave. <laughs> Thank you. Unfortunately, I never did Dream World, uh, because, well, I kind of fell off of Pokemon when Gen 5 came out, unfortunately, so I never really got to do the stuff, all the stuff that Gen 5 I'm, did. At, at least you're not me, who said, hey, I love Gen 5, but I'm not getting Black and White 2 because they're basically the same game. Um, um, and then <laughs> he learned later that that those are the best Gen 5 games and not being able to buy it at all because they're at absurd price points. Yeah. Are we going to do some shopping right now? So, yeah, that's the one thing that, like, I never really got to experience Gen 5 in its, like, in its entire, like, I... I will admit, I still have not beat um, Black and White. I've beat Black and White too. Where are these? One burn you. Okay. I, I, yeah. Black and White 2 music. Yes. All bangers. 100% I, true. I feel Black and White music is also all bangers. That's just me. Though. I'm sorry, like, but Black and White 2 just ups I will the experience ante. it later today. Gosh. I know. You need to. <laughs> I'm planning to. All right, so 25 here. We are required yes. to have two Pokemon. Um, and uh, talking to them, they still give us like the little exclamation points so we just walk in front of them. There's no other point otherwise. Yeah. To Porloin. So the strat here is to just tackle the right and find Whip it. Take it out right away with a team here. And then we're going to use the Sniper turn to heal. And we're going to use Takedown on the remaining Porloin on the left. Get rid of Otis Sleuth. They don't make poker games like they used to. I mean, I'm kind of hyper Scarlet and Violet. I mean, to be that fair, I am. player looks pretty good. And I'm kind of biased to the Switch PSR games for a reason, but that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sharon fight coming up. So we bought a burn heal in case Sharon burns us because of course that's still a thing. Um, we need to work up and then we hope they don't do defense curl. If they do, I have to tackle twice uh, and pack the takedown, I have to do a second defense curl. So let's hope Sharon plays along and just does tail whip or something. Anything but defense curl. Elder Sun, Ultra Moon has some great tunes. I agree actually. Uh, okay. Ember. Alright, you can take it out. Take down. Cool. Thank you for playing along, Sharon. Whoop! And then the Purloin is a tackle away. And we'll do that. Goodbye, Purloin. I will have to heal because I will not have enough health to survive the next fight. Spain the video game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it says Pokemon game, but I like video more. Alright, so Bianca, of course, you know, is after these plastic grounds because they stole this little girl's Pokemon. But she takes forever to bring it up. Uh, I have a quick option for this. Why am I using that? Potions, get rid of all our potions. And even Sharon brings it up there. He's just like, why did you say that in the first place? Let's go. For real, for real. <laughs> But let's be real, Bianca is, is is such a kind person, so, you know. True. I'm glad that she's, like, checking up on people and whatnot. Alright, cool. Time for a fight. This is also the only place left where we want to try to get an encounter. In this case, we want to get a Wubat encounter. We'll do that after these fights. Because uh, our little pup is going to evolve in a little bit. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. And this is the start of things called basically the Team Plasma Gauntlets.
So this is an easy one. There's only three train or there's only three. There is multiple times oh. where you fight more than like more than four at a time. And it could get quite <laughs> interesting at times. It's and easy, it's just, don't get me wrong, but it just takes a while. It is very dragging, though. Like, later in the game, there's like two plasma gauntlets back to back, and you, you hate to see it. Yeah. All right. At one point, there's, I think, a, it's either nine or ten gauntlet of just straight, just straight plasma grunts. <laughs> yeah, there's even like, after, you know, there's like two plasma grunts, and then you have the eighth gym, which is literally also a gauntlet of trainers of like yes. eight to nine. So, We'll get there when we get there, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the actual pain of this part here is that I have to mentally prepare for one, the Wubat encounter just not working as usual. Mm -hmm. And two, Lenora. Lenora is really bad in this game. Yes. We have a strap for Lenora, so you know it's not a lost cause, but it's not ideal. Yeah, that's and so the first badge isn't as bad. It's just that first traitor, and then yes. the second and third badge are a lot harder. Yeah, the second badge in particular, because there's two trainers, the gym leader and Satomi, that are kind of bad. And then, oh, we get an encounter right away. This probably just a rock and roller. Called yep, it. of course. Right. Look, I played this game too much to know. <laughs> All right, we gotta pick up our notes about how to catch Pokemon once we finally get the Wubat. Well, here we are. And Come on. this is so. Oh wow, this is really bad. Oh my. Oh God. no! <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you got okay. the ten percent gem. Oh my God. Oh, there we go. There's Wubat. I got the Wubat too. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, that's one of the reasons that they do the extended manip um, for the new ones is because um, it can be a little frustrating to be able to get the Wubat here. Um, but that, out of the woods. that requires a lot of work. <laughs> We're not out of the woods at all. Oh no. If this Pokeball fails, we have to do this again. Uh, two, three. Oh yeah, my goodness. Let's go, last right. ball. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shout out to Wubat. That is a cute emote, Iron. Oh my I goodness. I love Wubat. It's one of my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon. Do, 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 I've never really had too much for Wubat, but it is cute. I will admit that. It's very cute. I had it on my uh, first team when I played this when I was like... Wait, when did this game come out? 2000... 2010? No. Yes. Because I know Black and... I think Black and White 2 came out on in 2011. So I'm pretty sure 2010. I thought it was like 2009, 2008. It might have been. I don't now, remember. Dang it, now I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> Either way, I need to know how old I was to make this comment. I, I was right, it is 2010. Okay. Damn, 12 years ago. Like 13 back then. Oh. oh. And what? Please walk. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, that, was, that so was that that character it looks like an NPC, right? Doesn't do anything. It's a trainer. She is so annoying. So annoying. I, I'm i so careful around her because I don't want to get caught by her. 2019 does not feel like three years For ago. For real. It does not. Felt like yesterday. All right, so we're going to do a couple things here. We're already going to buy items for uh, end game, like E4 stuff. But first, we're going to heal our herd here. Nope. That was the wrong menu to move in. That's not how Snivy works. Cool. There we go. 
Then we're gonna buy some uh, questionable items here. And again, we're literally buying two of them for the end of the game. Buy three X speed. The X attack for a light part fight with Sharon later on. And two of these guard specs are gonna be used for the E4. And then, shout out to not using Snivy. Yes. Wow. Alright, uh, we got an end fight, and this is basically hope that your 95 or 90% accuracy on takedown actually hits, or is it like more like 80? I'm not sure. Um, just hope it hits. Otherwise, we're gonna have some uh, pain on the pit of, because pit of can use growl, and we'd rather not have a growl moment. Yes. So let's hope this hits. Then we have a timber coming up. Now, cool, just hit timber. We're gonna set up work up on. And then take it out with takedown again. Let's hope the recoil and whatever damage it can do isn't too big. Doesn't do any damage. That's perfect. And then we awesome. take out the temple with a single tackle. Shoutouts to Palpatope, by the way, the evolution. While Paige and I were like discussing notes and you know, going over the run, it had a very, very memeable face. <laughs> oh yes, I remember. It was that. great. <laughs> it is great. It's what is that? Clay's gym is where we found that out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> clearly, you don't own an air fryer, Palpatote. Yes. Oh my so god. So good. All right. So this gym. So good. Uh, this is, in my opinion, the toughest point of the run. Uh, because there's just so much you have to do with the Wubat encounter, uh, the double battles, and then you also just have this end fight that can kind of go wrong. And then we have Satomi coming up, which is a bit annoying to take out. And then Lenora, just in general, is an annoying yes. fight to do. It's a very tough fight. So we're almost through it. And it's going pretty okay. And missed a little bit of movement there. It's fine. This last time, Clyde here is also going to talk to us and give us water. So from here on, you know, any Clyde that we have is an optional healing item that I might get for Berg. Depending how my healing is going. Let's first fight this pat rat. So, in the Queen City's gym, essentially what we have to do is we have to read books in a uh, specific order by using clues that we got throughout the gym. The first clue is that we have to read a book called Nice to Meet You Pokemon, which then gives us a hint hey, you need to read a book about um, the first Pokemon that you've encountered in this gym, which is right here, the pat rat. So we're gonna read a biology of Pat Rat if we ever hit this. So, all right, that was a bit unfortunate. We missed takedown and it's the text stalled first, but that's fine. And then after that, we have to fight Satomi. And Satomi is the issue in this run. Yes. And the way this gym works is you have to go around. Yeah. So you have to solve a riddle, and you have to get. You have to go to each book and. Originally, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to look at each book and say, okay, what's the answer to this question? And you go to another book and then you do this and you keep doing this throughout the thing. And it's really, it's a really, it's interesting puzzle, but like, still. <laughs> yeah. This is Satomi. She's a bit of a pain. Yes. She's so, a bit of a pain. Satomi has a herder like us. I believe her at the same level. But what Satomi does is she uses an X defense first turn. Which means <clears throat> the workup that we do doesn't, you know, it doesn't really cancel it out. So, and since it's a hurt here with stab moves as well, like takedown or whatnot that she has, she can hit quite hard. So let's just hope she doesn't hit really hard and she doesn't attack at all. Wow, okay, that's the first time I've seen that. Whoa, marathon lock is, uh, is a thing. What? <clears throat> <laughs> All right, Satomi, thank you. Now we have one more trainer coming up, and she's one. So what Gen Five started doing, at least I noticed it in Gen Five. It's probably like happened like a couple times in Gen before, but Gen Five really started pushing the idea of the pen ultimate trainer before the gym leader. So this this little uh, kid over here, she's kind of just saying, "Hey, I'm like the best trainer in the gym, and you have to fight me before you can challenge Lenora." Like she's like Lenora's second-hand gym-wise, like story-wise, like other, like the fight itself is very uninteresting, but I think it's cool that they started doing that. 
And yeah, shout outs. Uh, other oh, kids that do it as well. Yeah, shout outs. So to shout outs to me, who didn't know what penultimate means until literally a couple days ago. <laughs> yes, that's true. Uh, because I was like, what? Uh, but no, for real, it's it's really cool that the gym started to do this, and they do this throughout the series afterwards. Um, but yeah. yeah, it's just interesting. Yeah, I did not know what penultimate means until like two or three days ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I I know. I probably previous regions they did it like one or twice, but like this is really where they start pushing in the narrative as well, and I just find that very cool. Okay, um, so I need to set up now. So for the Lenora fight, item give. We need to kind of set up a couple things. We gotta move Wubat to the front. We got an extra super potion for Ooh, Maria, nice. by the way. That's cool. Thank you, pickup. Um, and I'll explain the strat as we go in, but essentially, we're trying to avoid death at all costs. I will save before this fight. I will save before this fight. Yes, because this fight she is, is very difficult. Really bad. Normally I don't do this, I just YOLO it, but today I feel like I need to really be careful here. Save you just take so long in this generation. Hmm. Alright. Not as bad as Gen 4, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, now, let me explain how Lenora works. So Lenora starts off with a herd with Intimidate. So we throw in uh, Wubat to catch that Intimidate. Then we're going to use Guard Spec on Wubat. It will create a miss, so uh, whatever move she will use after this cannot lower my stats anymore. Um, and then, hold on, let me get that Guard Spec going up. We're going to set up our herd here as well. We hope she just doesn't hit hard enough for it, for it to not matter. And then she'll throw in the Watchhog, and we'll get to the Watchhog when we get to the Watchhog. We're going to use Workup. She did hit a little bit harder than I wanted her to, so I'm gonna heal just to be safe. Take them again. I just need to tackle, tackle. But that's why we we do put her in healing range. This is not good. Does she go for the kill? She doesn't. No longer protected by mist. Oh no. I'm gonna risk it. Okay, I risked it. Okay, good. Woo! And if we're not out of the woods at all. Yes, we are this not. This Watchhog, it has Retaliate, and for those who know, Retaliate does double damage the moment uh, you send the Pokemon Retaliate in after the defeated Pokemon. So if she uses Retaliate, we won't live it until we heal to full. We're going to heal again because Retaliate is just a bit too strong for us. Now, if she uses Hypnosis at any point, which is fine. Uh, hold on, it's Tackle Tackle. Don't want to use Snake down here. She is faster than us, so we have to heal one more time. Um, she has Hypnosis, but we equipped a Chesto Berry to take care of that. There you go. There That's we Chesto go. Berry. That's fine that she lived. because we. Okay, just good. It. Okay. Cool. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you to Wubat for their servers, but Wubat is not done at all. So Wubat will return in the, the rest of the run. All right, that was really tough. That was really tough. Not the best, not the worst. Exactly. At least you didn't get asleep again. <laughs> All right, now we have Burke coming up. Everything up to Burke is kind of just a snore fest, except for the Burke fight. The Burke fight is annoying, very annoying, because there's so much, so much setup I have to do for that fight. Just to take down the Levany. It's kind of insane. Well, I don't know how much HP we had left. Um, take down this 12. We have more than 12 left, I believe. So we'll heal as we go. Okay. Uh, speaking of Team Plasma Gauntlets, we have a Team Plasma Gauntlet. Because they steal a skull. Yes, they think it's a legendary dragon Pokemon they can be. Um, but uh, spoilers, the thing is right there. 
They can't see you point to the screen page. I know, but the thing that they actually need is that stone over th is stone at the top or left. <laughs> Yeah, the uninteresting stone that the museum went. We found it in the desert and we thought it looked pretty, so we put it up anyway. Yeah. I always thought that was kind of like a dumb point. Like, a museum wouldn't do that. <laughs> Alright. Um, Meatberg. He's gonna be our uh, gym leader to beat. Watch out being a hurdle, even in casual play, is always amusing. Me too. Not younger me, though. Younger me very much is like that. Alright. I also don't understand the logic by having these two trainers that don't even have the second match to defend the gym. But, you know. I'm not a writer. <laughs> Alright. Have to follow up with Berg. And then, yeah, here comes one of the Team Plasma Gauntlets that it somehow not have doesn't been, even yeah. have... It doesn't yeah. even have all Team Plasma grunts in it. It has other trainers as well. Yeah, so first off, others twins, but because Wubad has been defeated, they are not a problem. And then we uh, have the first gauntlet, uh, grunt in the gauntlet. It has a sand dial, and all the sand dials in this gauntlet have Intimidate, so I have to use Takedown for a guaranteed, uh, for a guaranteed win. No, oh, I did press that. I thought I pressed back by accident. Alright. Okay, I have to heal now. It's perfect. So, and also another thing about this game that I don't know... Uh, that you could be able to do is you could actually be able to set parts of the bad as like a hotkey. Yes. So like right there, Naomi pressed Y if I'm not mistaken, and it mm -hmm. opened up the med bag instead of having to go through the menu, click on the bag, and make yep. it slow. You can literally just press Y and it'll automatically bring up that bag. It's a Pretty nice, cool. cool feature of Gen 5 that I don't think any other generation does. Yeah, well, we used the first fair of the run and then never again. Yeah, but I th yeah, I think Gen 6 didn't do that, Gen, right. like, in any of the new ones. <laughs> Time for the first ever spinner pass. Uh, let me first have the repel popped as well, that might be useful. Just a little bit. <sighs> cool. There we go. Now, there's a way to pause the timer on that spinner with the menu. In my experience, it works half the time because sometimes the time for those guys are so low that they will just turn anyway. Mm -hmm. It's really annoying. <laughs> so I just, <laughs> I just go for it. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Tackle, I believe? Yes. No, it's takedown. You know, it's fine. We'll take two turns. <laughs> now the reason we want to avoid trains here, especially these rangers, because they keep a berry afterwards and there's like three rangers you have to avoid, so let's hope we avoid all of them. There's one coming up about right now, here. I ran into You ran grass into the shaking grass! As it spawned oh, on me. Wow! That's so unfortunate. <laughs> that is actually kind of cool. That is kind of cool. It's not a train of fight, we can luckily just run away. Uh, Pat right over here, it's just a single tackle, but there's a there's a range to it. Of course, there's always a range to these things. That's how we hit the range, because otherwise Pat right can get really annoying. Yes. Because it has sand attack, and you don't want to get hit by sand attack at all. Hit sand, go! Please defeat, please defeat, please defeat, please defeat. No! No, oh, it no. used it! It used sand oh, attack. No. Okay, all right, okay. Okay, good, we're good. <laughs> the bite came in clutch. All right. The last one is over here of the Rangers. So I'm gonna be a bit slower because I really don't want to run into that one. 
Now, I will forgive the gauntlets for being long and annoying as they are because the, the theme is a banger. Mm hmm. The th and then you need to. Ah, you need to play Black and White 2 because of Neoplasma. Ah! <laughs> What's this Neo I'm gonna I'm gonna of? reference that this entire run, by the way. Now, as long as you just don't spoil, because I really want to go in without spoilers. Oh, I, I'm not gonna spoil the story. I'm just spoiling that all the bangers. Yes. All right. So again, we got intimidated, so we have to use takedown for a guarantee hit. Of course, I miss. Get sand attack. That's fine. Cool. Thank you, Jordan, for that amazing uh, little dance emote that you posted. That's awesome. I agree. It's sour plus, but it's... Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Anyways, um... <laughs> now, uh, we just have to match for this. Not a lot going on here. Honestly, and I then, wish I fight all the, the the sages in this game. I think he can, right, afterwards? Or is it just gauntlets of plasma crumbs that fight for them? I, I don't remember. I know like, like I said, I've, afterwards. I've never played... I've never finished black and white, so I do not know the post-game, unfortunately. <laughs> I should know the post-game. E4 round two runs win. I mean, I'll... <laughs> do it i know uh i mean that stout one at the end is kind of juicy yeah let's go all right everyone chat i want to see all your dance emotes yes jamming emotes because i'm gonna just shut up and let this happen here's a banger for y'all Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I forgot about Ditto Quake. <laughs> I was not able to look at the chat yet. I'll, I'll do that in a second. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see, retaliate. To our little pup over bite. There we go. And then we're also going to level it up with a rare candy. Cool. Yeah, look at all those dancey modes and jammy modes. Thank you all for participating. All right, so welcome to Castellia City, the biggest city up until this point in generations of Pokemon. I still think, technically, and I might be completely wrong, but I still think this is the biggest city of Pokemon. I'd have to think about that. Because I think... It is big! I think Kalos is... Oh, what is, what is the main city called again? I forgot. I don't Lumios. think... Yeah, I don't think it's bigger than this one. I think this one has a lot more buildings and a lot more areas than Kalos. Well, the problem is, I think... I think this is... Uh, more condensed because obviously this is supposed to be New York City. Spoilers. Um, Spoilers but, like, for New York City. I know. <laughs> and like, cause like, I don't know. I'm actually, I'm actually curious. I actually think this is a big because we also have to pierce as well. They have to think about. Speaking of pierce, um, so Bianca got her Muna stolen. By Team Plasma. And this is the funniest Team Plasma run. This, this is like Team Skull level of intelligence. I just stole a Pokemon from this girl. Let me try to steal one again. 
Uh oh, there's two gym leaders. Let me just run back to HQ while the gym leaders are chasing me. Thanks, Team Plasma. <laughs> Also, this is the only point in the story Iris is actually going to do stuff other than just talking mm -hmm. because we play Pokemon Black, we get Drayden as our gym leader. So Iris will be completely, you know, pointless from this point on. Interesting. So I'm looking up right now just for fun. Apparently, Nimbasa has more people than Castelia. It's not okay, bigger, sure, but, like, but like, but like, population-wise, apparently Castelia is, or Nimbasa has more people, which is interesting. That's fair. I can see that. Let's see. Uh, so we got more sand dolls, but they don't have intimidate this time, so we can just tackle them. Yes. And win. And again, we're only like a couple levels above. Normally, this wouldn't instantly kill, but this this hurt here with the stab tackle is just so powerful. It's insane. And, and then adamant, later we get a thirty-one yeah, attack. adamant nature as well. Thirty-one attack IV stab, and later on yeah. we get a friendship powered stab return as well. So this thing is gonna go all the way to the end, and we, we're also gonna give the lucky egg later on. So like, there's nothing stopping this guy. Yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna go in. And everyone prepare yourselves. Go grab, like, you know, a drink real quick. Because, uh, we're gonna be here for a bit. Just mashing buttons. Mm -hmm. Now you thought Getz's monologues are bad. Now we have a Berg monologue. <laughs> Berg raises such a compelling argument that they decide to let the Pokemon go. So you can really tell that they really don't actually care for liberation. Oh. You mean they don't care? They don't care for Pokemon liberation. What are they really there for, then? World domination. Ah, uh, okay. The classical world domination. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Alright, this is a really funny little bit where Ayas just gives us a berry and just starts pushing Bianca out. Because sometimes I wish I could do that with cutscenes and NPCs. <laughs> just push her out. Alright. Time for a gym battle. This is the dumbest gym, <laughs> like, mechanics wise. <laughs> it just does not work. It's, for, it's, for, it's, for, like, so, it, it's such a, it's such a, like, if you think about it sanitary wise, it's such a disgusting gym. Ah, at least it doesn't have OSHA violations like some gyms. It's some, mm, it's like some other ones. <laughs> this, do you know this gym setup is so strange what do you mean it's a museum of course it's a gym uh-huh of course i like that how they did it in x and y that is true but this is not x and y this is the superior game uh-oh <laughs> let's start some controversy while we're at it no to be honest <laughs> it's probably not much of controversy because not a lot of people like XY. Even though I actually do. But. Oh, hold on. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I was looking at ranges. If I missed this, I would have I would have had to heal. Yeah. Um, still need to, actually. I'm not going to waste that entirely on it. There we go. Right. Now, we're healing to full for a reason we're gonna on the next trainer that we're gonna do in this gym we want to have a specific health range for the Burke mm -hmm. fight this Burke has a uh whirly Pete with screech on it and that lowers our attack and ideally we don't want that to happen and the only way that happens is by having 
a very specific health range where the AI just goes, oh, I should just attack with Poison Tail instead of using Screech. And that really helps because I have to do like four workup setups for the for the fight. Mm -hmm. And I'd rather, you know, not get my attack lowered during that and mess up my count. And then also, if you notice that Naomi's not pressing specific buttons because those are optional trainers. Yes, we hate options. But then again, I hate this honey more, so. True. <laughs> Do, 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 do. The gym theme is also a banger in this game, honestly. Yes. The final Pokemon gym battle theme is really good. For real, also, I would put that the, on loop. The red, the red line, the red bar theme of Gen 5 does not deserve to go that hard. <laughs> Gen 5 it does just goes not. hard. It just goes hard. It goes so hard. Alright, let's see. Um... All right, so we're going to use takedown twice, hope we hit both, and we stay within a very specific health range. Get avoided and use pursuit. That is not good. Attack. Enter. <laughs> Slowly chipping away at my DP at this point. Oh, and fun fact. Hold on, I need to read oh, real quick. Go ahead. Uh... We need to do one more takedown. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? No. Yeah. So fun fact, <laughs> we are not healing. Is it now that we're not healing at a Pokemon Center anymore? Or is that later? Oh, um, now. So we are not. Oh. We are not healing at a Pokemon Center or healing our PP. Throughout the entire rest of the run. I'm actually like at, at a Pokemon Center, so. Oh, there's actually one more in the boss. I was wrong. I, I okay. yeah, but yeah. after that, there's no more Pokemon Center that. visits. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is very crucial. I'm sorry, but I kind of, I am going to ask to keep the commentary a little bit lower. I'm going to try to explain this brick fight, but yes. the health range I'm at is lower than I usually am at, and the crit might actually kill me first turn. So I kind of need to think what I need to do. <laughs> Essentially, what we're going to try to do is we're going to work up four times, use one X speed, and then crunch to take it out. Uh, but it uses Poison Tail. It can actually poison us, and the healing kind of gets a little bit ridiculous. I saved for that reason, so I need a little bit of focus here. We're all yes. doing this for the Leaf and Eat kill with Takedown, and we hope that we hit the Takedown as well. So let's go. One. Two. Heal. So far, no poison. Good. Three. Use Screech. That's not good, so we need to do this Four. two more times. Go. Heal. Heal. Okay. X speed. Hit the right Pokemon. That one. Heal again to be safe. Poison for it, that's fine. We'll, we can heal it after. Crunch. And there okay. we go. That's one, but not out of the list at all. Bubbles next, not a crunch for that. Yep. And now the Leaf Knee, I need to check my heal range right now. 18 recoil, we should live. We hit, we should live on 2 HP here. We Perfect. <laughs> okay, that was scary. That was scary. That was really scary. I'm sorry for the little commentary there, but like, yeah, like this, this is the last gym fight where it's gonna be a bit scary. Like after this, it's just having to deal with the paralysis and then Bossa, but that's not really big of an issue. We just fight through the paralysis usually, and we are usually fine. And every other gym after this is a bit of a joke strategy-wise because we just win. Yeah. Um, 
the only fights we really have to care about later in this run are the E4. Yep. From here on, it's pretty smooth sailing, actually. Now, there's, of course, a lot of movement. So that's where the run now starts to pick up. And I really like that. So, like, at the first part, you just have the fights where you really have to focus on, for this game, at least. Mm -hmm. Like, I know in Oras, you're kind of always dealing with, like, ranges and... and uh... Oh, I accidentally went back. I, was, I thought I had a cycle. You're always dealing with, like, ranges and figuring out, okay, what's my nature, you know, what's the best move? Is my speed enough for this mudkip I'm running, for example? Um, you don't really have that for minute runs, especially this one. So, like, it kind of shifts from, like, very battle-heavy to a bit more uh, movement-heavy. And I kind of like that uh, for this game. Now we're going to heal here, and we're going to use a repel as well for an upcoming little skip that we can do. Handy, though. That was our last healing item. Uh, I forgot to do the repel. Last healing item, huh? Okay, we'll be buying more healing items later, but we're not good. <laughs> yeah. At all. Fine. Should be fine. Alright, Bianca fight! So, Herder has Intimidate here, so we have to work up twice to cancel out the initial lower, uh, lowering of our attack, and then to get the boost that we need for the rest of the fight. And then from here, it's just take them all out in one hit. That's one, and that's two. Take down hits. Uh, 37. We should lift Pit of Quick Attack in the next one. Yeah. The uh, Duwa is a Retaliate. And the reason why we got Retaliate is because it's a stat move and it attacks, and it's better than Tackle. And that's the only reason we got it. Muna time. It's wary of our takedown, but we use Crunch instead. And then the same for the Pants here coming up. This is really a chilly moment. Goodbye. Oh. Okay, so Bianca's having a little bit of a character arc where she just feels like she's not strong enough to protect herself. And, you know, am I even meant to be a trainer at that point? What mm -hmm. am I supposed to do with this? And I really like that they really explore this narrative of these characters that go into this Pokemon world. They go on a journey. They think it's going to be awesome, but they run into a little bit of hardship here and there. And they have to figure out what they really want to do as they go through their journey. So, you know, props to the story, actually, for this. Now the thing is, right, I should live a crit, quick attack, but it can tackle, it can attack twice. So we're not out of the woods yet. Now this is the, the, the one fight that we're talking about where Sandstorm uh, occurs. Yes. But because we have the ability Sand Rush now, we are not getting buffed by the Sandstorm like that. There we go. So now we... Uh, we don't waste a turn taking damage. Yes. We can just win. Five for some broccoli. There we go. And it's Pig Knight Light Part time. Light Part does have fake out. The so Light Part it can be a little bit annoying, but should not take us out. It did not use fake out. Thank you, Light Part. Very cool. All right. Hey, broccoli's good, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Each their own. All right. <laughs> I'm more of a cauliflower person. Did you just call it cauliflower? Yes. I know it's it, cauliflower. Look. Hold on. What? Hold on. I actually need to. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I knew it, okay. Um, I need it to spin and then spin again. And now we're gonna use the repel here. There we go. Okay, good. Alright, 
you don't really have to do that trick, but like it pauses their timer and it helps. Uh, the repel box essentially does the same as opening the menu for the spins. So we can set it up specifically so that we, uh, when we walk up, we get the repel runs out box right away. Broccoli and cauliflower. I'm hey, Jordan weird. doesn't like cauliflower. Jordan, next so, you say, I will, I will make you some cauliflower to change your mind. <laughs> so, what's weird? As a kid, the only vegetable I liked was broccoli and cauliflower. The only vegetables I liked were broccoli and cauliflower. Those are the right. only vegetables I liked. What so, like fruits. Fruits, eh? I was, I, I like all fruit. I liked all fruits as a kid, but like for what's some your favorite reason, fruit? favorite fruit, strawberry. Hmm. I see. I see. I see. Don't you dare. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so we're going into no, this No, 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 we're just fighting. We're just <laughs> fighting. We're just fighting. I'm not bringing up anything. I, I, I'm just asking about fruits, you know? Uh, sure. And I'm trying to teach a subject for a reason. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Mine is apples, by the way. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's not something else? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. Make sure you hit the right move. Yeah, no, I wasn't sure if I had enough retaliates for this, but I did. Okay. Cool. Because I was actually in kill range for either yeah. takedown. All right, cool. Um, yeah, so now we get a bike and we're going to do our last, like, you know, big shopping, menuing. We have one yes. more shopping after this, but it's like just get some potions and some repels. No, There's... what? Yes, Bianca. Yep. She's gonna enjoy her life. I love that she does like little twirls now. The little twirl is so cute. Uh, I know how to more. All right, so we're gonna buy return. Which Not is a very broken move with. Or this run? Up. Absolutely, yep. <laughs> We're gonna buy some Paral's heels. I'm not really good at this, huh? Uh, four of these. Uh, it was six hyper potions, so I already messed up the menu. Wing. I run this game, by the way. Yeah, totally. Can't tell. I'm gonna PC heal or hurt here. There's two things we're gonna do here. We're gonna keep uh, Wubat defeated. I'm sorry, Wubat. Wubat deserves better. Honestly. And now we're gonna do our final bit of menuing. We're gonna uncheck our met bag. We're gonna teach return to our little herd ear. And we're gonna teach it over takedown so no one have to care for that health management there. And then we're gonna register our bike like that. Cool. Uh, and now you're just gonna see me try to cycle across the Unifor region and failing at it miserably. <laughs> Because in any so, Pokemon game, me as a runner, I just cannot deal with the bike. I don't know why. It's absolutely all me. But, like, I just can't. I just can't. I mean, Gen 5's bike isn't terrible, as in, like, it's not... No, it is. It's... It's... It is. It's, it is it, okay, it is to you, but, like... Like, it's not too bad. And also, here's our date with N. Yay! I'll be love a date with N. Especially because I don't have to mash you. Exactly. My goodness. First, I must tell you, I am the King of King Plasma. <gasps> what? <gasps> Gex has asked me to work with him to save the Pokemon. Save the Pokemon? Liberation? I wonder how many Pokemon exist in this world. Me too, they keep bringing out new ones. Shout out to Fido and Lechon. Yes! <laughs> Honestly, all the Gen 9 Pokemon. All the Gen 9 cool. Pokemon look so I even good like right the now. little the little ice Pokemon they shove it like the gym leader. I like so Palmy, cool. the little the little the, the little tiny Pikachu clone. <laughs> Alright, end fight. So uh, this fight is actually quite complicated. So what we do is first we need to uh, work up. So let's let's get that done first. Let's see if we can get that right away. The Sandal is a bit of a tricky, tricky Pokemon. Alright. Okay, good assurance. Critical hit assurance. Sure, okay. Okay. All right, so we use return. And then for the next uh, move, we uh, 
For the strategy, we uh, we use uh, return. Return. Yep. And then. Just, uh... Okay, now it gets really complicated because this this Dormaka, right? This Dormaka is kind of tricky, so we just uh, use return. Return. <laughs> You, you might be seeing a recurring theme here. <laughs> yeah, so, chat, what are we going to do for the Sigalith? Oh, That's right, uh, retaliate? Crunch. Oh. No, Crunch, we need to, we need to preserve. Okay. Yeah, you need to preserve the people. Like I said before, after that last PC heal, we are not going to the Pokemon Center ever again yeah. throughout the run. Then I'll be elixirs and potions from here. Yes. I was supposed to use the bike, but I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> and right. then here comes the roller coasters. All right. So this gym is very cool because all these trains have freaking emolgas. And emolgas are ant fast. And they, uh, they're a bit bit bulky so i have to use work up to guarantee a kill and they have static so anytime i hit them oh anytime i hit them i have a 30 percent chance to get paralyzed yep so let's hope we get no paralysis oh and they have electric moves as well by the way oh that's cool oh that's awesome oh that's awesome <laughs> yeah this is my favorite gym <laughs> Is anybody that runs uh -oh. Gen 5 or Black and White or a Black and White 2, this gym is a pain in the butt. <laughs> no, it's not bad. It's just you, you hate to see the yes. please don't pour out. Okay. Okay, I already used one of my hyper potions. That's not good. Also, hi, Timo in the chat. Uh, Fellow Black and White runner. Yes. I actually do need to heal the paralyzed. That is. All right, so these blitzels are just going to be uh, simple returns. Mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba -da -da -da. Uh, you, so yeah, this yeah, this yeah, as you can see, most of the time, like. When we aren't using return, it's just because we're trying to save PP. Because, yep, return is it's 102 base power once you get max friendship, then plus stab. So like, it turns into like almost a. I don't know. I don't know how to count. I don't know how to math. But like, it's at least one. It's at least 120, if not more. For real, for real. It's ridiculous how powerful it is. Hello, Kaz. I am running the the, the the puppy route. I love the puppy route. This is my first ever Pokemon speedrun I've ever done. Like, as in, you know, I, Pokemon speedrunning wise. So it's always good to come back on these uh, little marathons to show up Pokemon Black. Yes. I do Pokemon Omega Ruby and a, a game I'm not yet talking about because I'm still bad at it. <laughs> while we're waiting, I'm just going to do a little uh, Bianca Squirrels. Oh, that is not the uncle. There we um, go. Yeah, it, it's awesome. <laughs> and there we go. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this whole right. thing is based on roller coasters. So like, I believe we have Colette coming up. Yes. So it's a work up and return because of course it has an Amolga. And this is another example of one of those penultimate trainers. Yes. Bit less than the other uh, gyms, but uh, she does call out that, hey, before you can fight uh, Elisa, you have to fight me. Exactly. All right, work up return. Please don't static. 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 Thank you. Woo! Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> See, Volt Switch is not the issue. It's the Amolgas that are the issue. Let her, let her Volt Switch all she wants, I don't care. 
I am gonna heal, but that's not the best move right now to do, but I do need the health. All right, here we go. At least the time. Okay, so we're gonna XP to uh, be faster than the Zep Strike and the Amolgus. Work up and then return on uh, all the Pokemon that come in. What we're trying to do is not get paralyzed by either the Volt Switch or the Amolgus. Mm -hmm. So let's see how that goes. Okay, that's one. Here comes another Volt Switch. That's two, no paralyze. Yep. Gonna go for the first attack. Let's see if we can avoid static for this one. We cannot, that's fine. It's a bit unfortunate, but it's fine. We can take it. Now it's gonna use Volt Switch and go to Zep Striker. We hope we battle through the paralysis and take out the Zep Striker. Perfect. And all we have left is the Emolga. Volt Switch can hit 25. Luckily, we leveled up to 27 HP. Unless it crits, we should be good. Gaming. Gaming. My heart Living on 3 is HP. My goodness. Uh. My heart. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That was so risky. I did not need to do that. <laughs> okay. All right. I didn't say it before the gym leader either. Oh, buddy. <laughs> we are going to heal. And this is a bit bad, because we only have, like, three left. We are shopping later. For like, real? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Alright. Cool. Oh. Alright. Second time. We have a musical coming up. Oh wait, we're gonna sing. We're gonna sing in a musical. Yeah, you uh. you got the lead. You got the part. The lead part. Woo! Get it? Because you're gonna fight a light part in a bit. You know, I shouldn't be commentating. <laughs> it's still right. really fun. So we're gonna dress up Pokemon. We're gonna dress up our little uh, little puppy. And with dress up, I mean we're gonna appreciate its natural beauty. Yep. There we go. We like it vanilla. There we go. All right. <clears throat> and, and now then... we have Bianca's big moment. Bianca's big moment. And here we go. No, I'm not going to go home. <laughs> I don't want to go home. And then Lisa just comes up and says, yeah, she, she, she can just travel, you know. Like, yeah. She's 10. She could do it. She's 10. Well, actually, I think they're 14 in this game, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, she's 10. And that's where I'm going to leave it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I don't know why they've been artificially aging up the the Pokemon trainers, but in my mind, they're ten in this game, which makes Getz's defeat so much funnier. She wants to be a totally cool woman like Elisa. Same. All right. Time for a share fight. Everyone ready? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> right on cue. I love Sharon. Honestly, such a good rival. 
No, I took care of the paralysis. I'm such a gamer. Thank you for calling it up. Right. <laughs> oh my god. I thought I was bad with these puns. Thank you, Silver. Tranquil and Ignite Love. So Tranquil does not detect. Of course it does. Did I call it out? Of course it does it again. Thank you, very cool. Shout out to Gen 5 AI. And if you have Ignite Love, he also gives you Retaliate. And for those keen viewers, they know that my little pup is not level 32, which means we are getting into our final evolution. We get the big puppy! The big pup. The stout one. Alright. So now it's just cutscene time, and we just have a fight with uh, uh, two preschoolers. They both have root ear, so we're gonna work up, and then we just return, return. And we get a free heal here as well. What's a champion doing in a place like this? I mean, I would be here for a caravan as well, I mean, looks fun. Name you're cooler than Elisa? Aww. No, you're cooler than Elisa, Timo. And it's indeed that big boy. Yes, the glorious stash dog. <laughs> Nice, we avoid damage so far. Let's hope we can keep that up. Thank you, oh my goodness. Awesome! That's great. Because again, I'm really low on healing items, and I would prefer to not, you know. Okay, so now... Uh, it's actually Driftfield City time. And if you know this game like I do, this next this next theme song is gonna go hard. Yes. This next theme song is gonna go hard. Way, 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 way back in the day when this game came out, I bought like a download of the Driftville City, so I uploaded it to YouTube. That was the only video I ever did that I actually had views. I don't know what happened to it. It could still be out there. The bridge drop peeps? Bitch. No, I'm not talking about the draw bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Good timing. Oh, perfect. For yeah, perfect timing. <laughs> Don't worry, you're gonna hear plenty of this uh, theme. Oh wait, I'm supposed to commentate. I'm sorry, I'm jamming too much. All right, um, <laughs> so we just met with Clay, <laughs> and Clay is, is pretty mad at us because apparently we let Team Plasma go because they were trying to keep Team Plasma on this site. But now the bridge is down, they could have escaped across it. So Even though they didn't do it. Well, he doesn't know that. And we don't know that either. Thank you for the good luck! Oh, I need to... Checking bike. 
Oh, I love that emo, the Sazu Tick uh, posted. That's awesome. All right, we got two spinners here that we want to avoid. The first one. Boom. Everything else is just you can just walk by them. There's another spinner coming down up here, but this spinner actually is no threat because it doesn't look behind it or above it. So let's avoid it. This spinner is a problem. Cool. That was really fast. Wow, that was really good, actually. Let's go. All right, and we have another little plasma gauntlet, I guess. We have to defeat four of these trainers. And, you know, uh, these fights, all we do is retaliate, except for the garbage bag. And the reason why is to preserve PP. But I always like to think that the Trubbish that we use Crunch on, we use Crunch because we're, we're using a dog, and dogs like to bite garbage bags. Yeah, there's not there's no, usually not a lot going on in these runs, so I'm trying to find the fun of the little things. Yes. And I'm also, okay, I swear. Also, like, Cold Storage slash Twist Mountain Steam is kind of a banger. Just saying. Honestly, Gen 5 is kind of a banger. Honestly, there's very little songs, if any, that have are not bangers of Gen 5. Yep. Like, that's just a fact. Like, oh, the E4 theme is gonna go hard. Oh, yes. And the cool thing about that one is that the first E4 I have to fight, I actually need to really focus, so I'm not gonna say a lot. And, uh, you know what that means? Y'all can jam to that awesome theme. So I look forward to that. That's in a couple hours. You ironically like the Trubbish line? I never read the Trubbish line. The Trubbish line is good, so... Oh, you mean like the Pokemon? I thought there was like a line about Trubbish in the game, like a dialogue <laughs> line. I like Trubbish! I think Garbodor Trubbish is also is fine. Trubbish is cute. Garbodor, like... People yeah, like... really give this game so much slack for the Pokemon designs, but I'm like, all these Pokemon designs are pretty good. Again, there's... Right now, I just cannot think of a single Pokemon in Gen 5 that I just really don't like. I'm like, oh, this Pokemon really blows. Like, it really looks awful or whatever. But, like, there's nothing I can think of. I like all of them. Unless there's, like, a one that I'm just suppressing in my memory. Elgium? I mean, Elgium is okay. I don't mind the Elgium line. I do like the Clink line, actually. I really like the Clink line. I actually had the Clink on my team when I did this casually, like, years ago. Clink, 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 and... Wait, no. Clink, Clink, clink and clank. then Clink, cl Clink, yeah. Clink. <laughs> yeah. I like it. <laughs> it's definitely Don't really like the starters, sure. Monkeys, I like the monkeys and legendaries. Okay, well. The monkeys? Yeah, the monkeys are... Eh. What do you mean? I like the monkeys! I like the little theme that they have. Like, they go, like, uh, see no evil, hear no evil, and yes, say no evil. I like but it. But they suck in the game. <laughs> okay, but, like, I'm not looking at, like, competitive edge, because I don't play competitive. I'm a, I'm a casual gamer. Well, even in casual, they suck. <laughs> Anyways, their design is good, don't get me wrong, but they're... They're horrible Pokemon, like, casually <laughs> wise. I'm playing, like, a different game than everyone else at this point. Apparently. I'm sorry to have to cut the Drift Hill City theme short. It's back now. But you don't like the Derpy Fit, the Derpy Fish? <gasps> oh, no. Sunfist. Is that? Oh, I forgot that's a Gen 5 Pokemon. It is a Gen 5. I never knew. Well, I knew, but I forgot. Mian Shao is definitely goaded. I love, I love Kofagrigus. Like, I, unironically, I think that's a great Pokemon design. Galvantula is also a really good Pokemon. If you have Arachnophobia, it's not that great. But other than that, yes. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, <laughs> uh, Clay's Gym. We have three trainer fights. Yes. And the first guy is not called Hugo. 
It's Dom or something. Did you guys hear my cat in the background? I am sorry, she's going crazy. We like cats. No, it's Felix. The name is Felix. PewDiePie. Hi, I remembered. Yeah. Uh, Clearly, yeah, this is where we got the own an air fryer. From. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, uh, we're just gonna return to sender. Oh, I forgot Deerling was in this game. Into the oh my god, yes. the Deerling are great. Does this generation have a lot of water Pokemon? I know Basculin, but are there other no, Pokemon? No, actually, no. This doesn't have that many. I'm trying to think of any. They have the freaking like Frillish. No, that's not. Is that Frillish? Yeah, that's Gen Five. I um... used the wrong elevator. Okay, so we have an optional. <laughs> I my brain just shut off. It's fine. It's fine. We just, uh... Oh, let's see, though. Oh, Alola Mola. True. I actually really like that mod in singles competitive. It's really fun to mess around with. Uh, Intimidate shouldn't. Joker. How many Pokemon does this guy have? Two. I hope so. Yeah. Size with Toad Line is also pretty based. I love um, Throw and Sock. They're great Pokemon. Now it's a little accident on me. It's fine. I do have to keep in mind my return PP. We should Elixir a little bit later and we should not run out of returns, so we should be fine. Oh, yeah, you're right. The bug types got a major glow up in this generation. Unironically, Ven like, the Venipede line is one of my favorite poison types. I, I Yeah, like I have a Skullipede on my team. Like, And I like, love the Pit of Line as well. The Pit of Line is also so good. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Uh, true Candy Floss. <laughs> oh, yeah, we love Candy Floss. Sandal, Crocorock, Crocodile, good Pokemon as well. Oh, Litwick, and uh, what's the second one called? Lampent and Chandler yes. are top tier Pokemon, like easily A and S tier. It, it yes. really depends where you want to put it, but like there's no, that's such a good ghost fire Pokemon. I love that everybody in Yes, everybody at Pokemon Speedrunning does not call Whimsicott Whimsicott. <laughs> they call it Candy Floss because it's just that's how it is. I'm the only runner that will just call it Whimsicott because I I I have not run Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yes, because I, I haven't even run Shorty Shield. <laughs> and it's All just right. Candy Floss is Candy Floss. Anyway. Uh, play. So this is really play. where we're going to start seeing where the, the gym leaders are kind of a joke at this point. I call it rubbish. Thank you, Jordan. Shh. Jordan, shush. <laughs> we see you in our call here. <laughs> Iron, what's your fi uh, favorite uh, Gen 5 Pokemon? Let's see. Uh, I don't think Iron is here anymore. That's fair. <laughs> oh, wait, Iron is here. Wait, I'm so confused. Okay, uh, hold on. So I'm speed tying this Excadrill. Yes. Let's hope it it doesn't, you know, hit too hard. Okay. All right. So Waddle is good, especially like yeah. I am here. I've just been on mute. That's fair. Yes. Hello, Iron. Just listening to the stream. Yeah, I don't know what my favorite one is. There's, there's lots of really good ones. I didn't, I didn't really play these games much, but just look at the list. Like, they're all, there are a lot of really good designs. Again, I, I genuinely don't think there's a single bad Gen 5 Pokemon. Even like Legendaries, I think Zekrom, Kyurem, and uh, Reshiram are just really good Pokemon. Uh, as like Legendaries, I don't hate any of like the Mythicals or the Threos. Victini is such is such a vibe. I love Victini. 
Meloetta, Speaking of, you can Caldeo. get Victini. <laughs> Speaking of, you can get Victini right now in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yes, I, I had to pick one. If I, had, I would have to shoot up the Dino Dino line. I like yes. Hi, Dragon. Kind of a cop mode because they're they're like they're super go they're super goaded, but they're really strong. Yeah. But yeah, they are good. Pretty good um, designs. It's not a cop out. <laughs> I am going to buy a couple more of these for safety because I'm really low on healing items and I do want to heal my. Oh, not safe. I want to heal my mom real quick. Now, the reason why we buy Super Potion, normally I don't have to buy Hyper Potion, but I do now just to be safe for the marathon today. The Super Potions, we need them later for reversal strats. And Bryson's gym is going to be very, very hard to manage HP on. So we really. Want to use super potions instead of hyper potions just to kind of manage our HP a little bit. Let's see. Uh, Bianca fight again. Right now is a bit of a joke. The only mod, this is the only Bianca fight where she can kind of be an issue. It's the Musharna because there is a range to it. Um, so we'll see how it goes. So, work up, and then we just want to return, return, crunch. Now, we are low on PP. I do use reversal E4 strats when opportunity arises. I'm not going for them. I'm just going to see what the RNG gives me and then just go with it. I wasn't supposed to use the crunch from that, so I'll use a premium unit. Five things here. And also, I just remembered, because we, ta we were talking about music and other stuff like that. Something that's really cool. Let's go ahead and get through this. Make sure this range gets through. Oop. It did not okay, get good. through. Okay. But... No, that's not good. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. All right. So with the with the music, there's a lot of random stuff in black and white that like you would notice. So like for instance, in Route One, when you aren't moving, the drums aren't playing. But when you move, the drums start to play. Like there's a lot of little stuff like that in the music that the that they did in this game that is really cool. <laughs> Honestly, this game. Sometimes I just feel like it gets hate for, you know, there's valid reasons to get hate, but something just gets unwarranted hate. Okay, this is the hardest bit of movement here. Now it's going to get very movement heavy. Yes. And very spinner heavy as well. So that's already one spinner down. We have one more up to go here. And then we have a walker over here with an umbrella. No, that's a spinner, and I accidentally hit it because I thought it was somewhere else. Unfortunate. And then we have a, a runner as well. Yes. That's unfortunate. I was not supposed to hit this. I'm already low on PP. No, no. So I kind of just have to play this. Okay. Stay. I like ice cream. Yes. So ice does cream is good. my Stoutland. Oh, and there's Frillish. And that was Frillish. <laughs> that Ranger. Can I please bike? Thank you. Alright, Clay's gonna give us Bulldoze here. I wish Gen 5, because we see like an overworld spread of Rock Rock right now. I wish it had like follower Pokemon. That would have been so cool. But alas. Alright, Sharks and Cave. So. Here we're gonna have another end sequence and a little bit of plasma sequence. There's gonna be a gauntlet, and that's a very long gauntlet. Um, and then we also have a really cool spinner coming up here, and we also get an item, the lucky egg here, finally from the professor as well. 
there's a lot happening here in a short span amount of time. I'm going to try to keep up with it. So Bianca and Professor Juniper show up now. And Juniper will give us the lucky egg. My bottle cap. Now we're gonna hope we can avoid the Arching Trainer here. Yes. The Arching Trainer is my nemesis. One time that we avoided it. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that trainer so much. Oh my gosh. Wow, Clinks. Yeah, I, I, yeah, Clink. Mm -hmm. Yep, Clink. Anyway, Shadow Sprite time. Oh, by the way, we got introduced to the Shadow Triad. Yes. Um, they're basically Team Plasma Ninjas. We never fight them in this game, which is unfortunate. Can I please use the bike? Thank you. <laughs> Again, I'm really bad at this bike. All right, cool. Now goes the way that we wanted to go. Bike. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Also, I'm so bad at the bike. This is the first Plasma Grunt! Gauntlet! Uh, Alright. So... So we were talking about fruits earlier, right? Oh no. Here you we go. strawberry, right? Hold on, I actually have to see which moves I'm supposed to use. Okay. Here we go. Well, I just want to talk about berries. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's the berry you really want to talk about, Naomi? I don't know, there's a lot of berries out there. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So, what about blackberries? Oh, I've never eaten blackberries before. Bananas, Bananas my, my favorite, favorite berry. berry. Good. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> I, I like that, like, fruits and everything come in all, like, sorts of, like, shapes and, and colors. Oh no, here you it know, comes. <laughs> red, yellow, blue. No, 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 there's no <laughs> blue fruits. There's no blueberries. None of that exists. That's a lie. So, the reason I'm cringing <laughs> over here. You're not cringing, it's true. The reason I'm cringing over it. here is because Naomi thinks <laughs> blueberries are not blue they're not they're purple <laughs> <laughs> and we're trying we've been having this fight for the past two and a half months i think <laughs> and it's not a fight it's not a fight it's, scientific it's not a fact. fight it's just it's scientific discussion. fact it's discussion I'm, I'm gonna say that, that i think you're both right i think on the exterior they're blue no no it's only one answer no there's no <laughs> both right no okay, sure. no they're, they're just purple <laughs> they're just purple uh, thank you iron for trying to be the diplomat <laughs> <laughs> they're both not they're, they're not both right it's just purple Blurple at best. You know what? I'll accept Blurple. That's that's surprising. I'll accept Blurple. But there's no way they're ever blue. Oh, I was supposed to crunch all of these. Well... All I'm saying is that... <laughs> why do they call them blueberries if they're purple? 
I mean, why? Hold on. I, there was... I cannot <laughs> use an argument on this marathon. Okay, it's fine. Oh, uh, anyway, the crowd never see Plasma. We're gonna fight the next guy. Yes. Anyways. So, the team Plasma fights. Alright. The reason we're bringing this up now is because these fights are just... Just very simple at this point. And so, like, right. So, as you can see, we're level 38. So... Oh yeah, pretty much no, everything we, dies. Yeah, we, we got a lucky egg, which is boosting everything we're doing as well. So like I so. said, yeah, we're gonna be very over leveled in this run. Which is cool, honestly. That to means honest, I don't have yes. to think. All right, all right, hardest bike section done. Woo! <laughs> Petition for berries. Named them Blurple Berries. Okay, well, no, 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 I won't <laughs> accept it, actually. I will not accept it. They're Purple Berries, not Blurple Berries. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank you for the very good suggestion. Hold on, is this a Oh, my gosh, Kaz. Okay. I really have to manage PP, which is why I'm kind of, like, hesitant on some of these. Yes, because, yeah, you hit two optionals, so that's kind of understandable no no we already fixed that with an elixir and uh, what oh right okay. we, we don't have that issue but like again throughout the rest of the run you up, still gotta be careful we up until after skyla we're not using another elixir so all these fights and then there's a psychic coming up and the entirety of skyla's gym we're kind of just mm -hmm. running on the pp that we have here All right, we have an end fight coming up. And uh cool thing about N, you know, you might have noticed this as we are, you know, playing. But the cool thing about N in this game is that N always has Pokémon that are native to the area with him. So like every time you fight N, it's just Pokémon native to the area. Which is very cool. And then the yes. final fight, he kind of just has like a combination of uh the greatest hits of N. Mhm. Mm but uh, let's first get through Boldor. We ever, we actually never see the final evolution of Boldor in the room. Oh yeah. All right, so this Boldor, let's hope it doesn't use Iron Defense a little too much. We do like the Smackdowns it's currently doing. Because again, I kind of want to have my HP a little bit lower. Kill tick. Shout out to Joltik. Goodbye, Joltik. Joltik is adorable. Joltik is a great even though Pokemon. it's a spy, even though it's a spider. All right, Pharisee. The pronunciation of Pharisee can be a contentious issue as well. Oh Pharisee? gosh! I, I don't. I don't want. To, sorry to bring that up. <laughs> Is it or I hate that pronunciation. Is it Hydra so City or Hydra City? Oh, gosh. oh wait, this is <laughs> this is Waiting Pokemon, the... not Sonic. Waiting for the Sonic to come out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, Pharaoh Seed or Pharaoh Seed, which is weird. Blueberries or purple berries. Oh gosh. <laughs> yes. Check out my Twitch channel for more blueberry discussions. Oh, I exclusively gosh. just talk about blueberries. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, well, not pretty much, but you, you know. Uh, uh, anyway, Skylar moment. So we have another professor here. Now, if people can call her Skyla, you know. I like uh, Unova Winona. Alright, Cedric just gave us a Pokedex upgrade. And now we're like, oh, Skyla, we want to fight. But Skyla's like, I saw something on Celestial Tower. I need to quickly fix that. It's like, okay. Guess I'm coming up with you then. She's basically the Jasmine of this uh, region. 
But instead of having get it, having to get the secret medicine, she already has it. Yep. Which, spoiler alert, it's just a max revive. So when she said wounded Pokemon, she just meant completely defeated. Going for the branches here. Be sure we don't get encounters. I use a bit of a, a route, you know, uh, what do you call it? Out of the way route to avoid trainers there. Rather not run into them at all. And now, Celestial Tower. Honestly, this is a really cool place. Uh, we have two floors coming up with spinners, but they're not traditional spinners at all. Very interesting. Yes. We have a psychic fight coming up. Now we want to be careful with our crunch PP. So we're going to use our last retaliate on the Solosis. Here we go. And let's take a look if we finish off with a crunch. So let's avoid our options now. Yes. And there's a special way you could avoid optionals in the next floor, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. So essentially, anytime I press B, these guys will spin around. So that's, there you go. So every time they turn around, I press B. So if you're really fast, you can really, you know, pass by him really fast. Like that. Again, they only turn when I press B. They don't turn otherwise. I wish I did that more. But we only have two. Of course. Yep. Alright, so Skyler is going to tell us to ring the bell. There we go. We're going to ring the bell. Fine. And then from here, we're going to use uh, Wubat to fly back to... Uh... Oh, Stride Miss... Wait, hold up. What the hell? That's the first. Miss Stralton. Miss Stralton. This 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 city name. I I, I keep getting. It yeah, wrong. Naomi, you totally run this game, right? I do, but this city name. <laughs> I always, I always thought it was Miss 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 Tra Miss Triton or something like that. I never knew there was an L in there. Oh my goodness. I guess the L is in there for me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the support as usual, Faye. Uh oh. All right. So Paige really wanted to explain this gym, so go for it. Yes. So this gym is a complete OSHA violation, as you can tell. You're getting shot out of cannons. Um, and later on, you will figure out that somehow we don't get hurt. First of all, we're not breaking our legs not by yet. landing. <laughs> not yet not yet and then so we have these fights they're all they're all flying types of course um and the worst mm. part is they all have the tech um quiplash i think this is more of an osha violation just because of the ending but Black and white, uh, Skyless Black and White 2 gym is also a very big OSHA violation. Alright, no spoilers for me. No spoilers for me. I'm trying to actually play this, play that today. I finish it. Oh my goodness. But yeah, so let's just go into the cannon in the right way. Yes. And uh, this, this cannon here is a bit tricky. I never could figure it out as a kid until I realized, wait, there's a little gray strip there. I can use the cannon to go the other way. Yes. Honestly, game design wise, it's pretty smart to how to do that. Yeah, it really is smart. Now, if this game drags on for much longer, I'll just go into game design. But uh, let's hope that this game just is nice to us. Yes. Again, we're gonna be very low on PP in a bit. I need to keep an eye. I need to keep two returns. Should be fine. I have four now. 
Yeah, it's a, the the strip is a little bit hidden by the, like the 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 little uh, the little yeah. uh, safety bar. Uh, we have an unpheasant here, which is a bit annoying because the unpheasant has a range to get uh, taken down by return here. Yes, and it also has the pack. Of course, it does protect right away. Four left. Okay, please hit the range. Thank you. Cool. HP wise, we're doing all right. We're loading our final move for the entire the run. Reversal. For those yes. who don't know how reversal works, the the base power goes up as the lower the Pokemon's health is. So. Not base power, the uh, the power points. I don't know something in that range. This is, by the way, the trainer uh, where it's beneficial to have a mill little pup. Because this trainer yes. has a Swoobat, we speed tie it, and it uh, we can get attracted to it if we are a female. I think it's more so its ability that's the problem here. Than exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Slash hits hard. We are below a certain health range, so we're going to heal here with a super potion specifically. Because this is the point of the run where now instead of you know being very movement focused, we're now very uh, HP management focused. So again, this yes. run keeps like shifting a little bit how it goes. You know, very battle focused first, but now it gets much easier because Stoutland is just too powerful. Um, so here Moving comes my focus. favorite part. Yeah, and now we have OSHA Violation Focus. Boom. Boom. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Literally hit the wall. <laughs> uh. But yes, so now we have the Skyla fight. Or, sorry, Yanovan Winona. Yeah, Yanovan Winona. Not to be confused with Hoenn Skyla. Oh, interesting. All right. Crunch. And again, this fight is a complete push up. You know? Bye, And we just have swung a left, her ace. And also, this is one of the gyms where there's not really a pen ultimate trainer, as like before. But yes. you know, you win some, you lose some. And that's another badge. Mm -mm. All right, so now we're gonna do Rising Split. And this is actually the first split where you can actually just play the game and there's no big pieces of story that happens. Yeah. You can just focus on like movement and fighting. That's like two little bits of dialogue or like three technically. Dialogue, one with uh, Sharon and Clay. And then we get Surf from Alder. Oh, I forgot about N here, but you know, who cares about N anyway? <laughs> Ugh. Um, and then we just have the Cedric talk, really. We kind of just mash through. And then we just go for, for the gym. We could just go for Bryson. Mm -hmm. Love Bryson. Wish there was more of him in this game, but there isn't, unfortunately. There was actually, like, lore in this game about Bryson being, like, into plays or movies on one of the two. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's something about that in the second game. Spoilers! I didn't say anything! No, but now I know enough. Alright, we have another call with our mom here. Cool thing about the mom and my player character is uh, they are basically the same. They have the same pose and everything. It's kind of funny. Yeah, they have the same pose, but they're just mirrored. <laughs> We're gonna elixir and max repel here. All 
right? Let's see. So we have Sharon Fight coming up now. S slash does 24. And Fake Out does 8 to 9. Okay, so 34 max. And we should be below that. Might have to Super Potion. I'll do that on Light Press turn. Oh, oh, buddy. <laughs> Whole dog. Uh, mine is facing right now. Uh, Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry for swearing, but I'm... <laughs> I'm lost for words right now. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, definitely okay, super that was... potioning. Definitely super potioning. Because light part is always going to use fake out here, and then we can just take it every turn. Okay, that was a lot scarier than it needed to be. My yes. good. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Jordan. <laughs> no, don't do this to me. Alright, so this is my last PSR marathon run. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for having me. So this hiker, we have to fight, and this is normally where we set up our HP. And the HP that we are going for is below 50, which we're currently at right now. Oh, okay. Thanks, Jordan. <laughs> hey, at least I saved the schedule, didn't I? All right. I had a good roll on crunch, so I'm just gonna risk it, okay? And the girder is a range. I'm so scared for this girder. Okay! Alright then! Perfect, actually! This is what I want. This is what I want. I want to be low HP. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, the hardest part of the run for me right now is basically done. This, this HP management is so hard to get. And now we just have to figure out the Icarus City movement. So, one thing uh, we never mentioned is, you know, when we set up our Manip, we did specifically get a date that has a winter, um, a winter season. And it's all because of this mountain. Uh, this mountain is a complete joke in winter. You can just use the snow here to just do this and done. Normally you have to go through all these tunnels and there's like team plasma fights and whatnot, but you know, don't have to do that now. We're already done. Yep. Um, also, funny part <laughs> about my Manip setup. My Manip setup is exactly on Christmas of 2016. Yes. <laughs> it's currently December 25th, 2016 on my machine. So, uh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Set it moment. Cool. Uh, and now we just go to the gym. So, the gym is cool for a couple reasons. I was not supposed to get in those trainers, but whatever. Um, so for one, the puzzle, I think this is the best ice done, uh, the ice puzzle done in any game. Pokemon so far like this is such a good ice puzzle uh, It's very cool. There's an actual skip that we can do with the ice puzzle here um, And secondly, and this is the annoying part of this gym though these cup shoes they all have under So if you're trying to manage your PP This is kind of sad essentially if they use ender 
It just wastes a turn, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yep, and this is the only skip that makes it any percent. <laughs> No, well, if you don't think about the manip that we do as well, smile. Well, yes, but I mean, like, skip-wise. Yeah, 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 because we, we basically skip a trainer that is yep. not intended to be skipped. We got really good RNG in the cup juice here. Do you want to call that out? I love this gym where you just turn these things around and you do that. It's so good. Uh, this trainer has a Krygonal, so we should be fine. It's so much better than the Hone Ice Puzzle. I hate that Ice Puzzle in him. <laughs> you mean that, yeah, Wallace's gym? <laughs> yeah, I, I despise that one. It's so bad. So we're gonna use Crunch for the bulk of the gym. Um, but don't worry, we're gonna get Reversal in soon. It's mostly used on the vanilla in the gym fight. All right, Cup Chu. Thank you, Cup Chu. You're very cool for that. Don't do it again. Oh no. All right, we're gonna use some of the reversal PP. Because we do not want to waste our crunches. Yes. Alright. Uh, Mikiko. He also has a cup chew. Who always endures on me for no reason at all. So let's hope for once it doesn't. Biggest boss. Biggest boss. No, I said fingers crossed, but, you know. <laughs> All right, we beat the biggest boss. Let's go. And now we're gonna use some reversal. Goodbye, vanilla. Uh, this way, this way, this way. Don't wanna overdo it. Okay. Yeah, Wallace's gym is a gym of all time. <laughs> it's one of the gyms of all time. <laughs> Alright, so we have to vanish, and we can just, uh, instead of crunching, we can just use uh, reversal on this. Now we're gonna do the big skip. So for some reason, in this gym, they forgot to add collision to one of the rocks. So we can just use that to kind of just skip the puzzle. So we don't have to do the black belt at the top, so we can just walk through this rock. Press the button. And uh, go down here. Finish the puzzle. And Bryson fight. Bryson is a joke. Because we're so low in HP, Reversal just does the trick for us. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna bring out the Ace, the Bear Tick. Not technically the ace, but definitely the most dangerous Pokemon on their team. So Krygonal is a joke. You know even prize, you're right. True This is, you know, I believe that Krygonal is like his signature Pokemon, but like the bear tick is stronger, so I don't know when on. Honestly, people finding it is probably just an accident because if you accidentally walk on that tile, you get moved forward. And you're like, wait, what just happened? Exactly. 
I'm more interested in how the QA team wasn't able to catch that. But you know what? We'll take the badge and we move on. Oh. And we we go on a slide all the way back. And I, I like Bryson after this. Because Bryson is just like Frost Breath uh, has a big critical chance, and that's all he says about the move. Yep. Like other gym leaders have, have like two or three more lines, and they just talk a little bit more about it. Breath just like, yeah. Right, it's a nice move. It, it critical hits. Smile. <laughs> Smile. All right. So more shadow tried stuff, and we're gonna have a little team plasma gauntlet again. The anchor comes up to us talking. Mm. That movement was perfect. No comment about it. Smile. Probably not. All right. So we're talking about all this stuff, and we get a old chateau from Cedric here. Uh, the old chateau is actually very useful for us. In the, the route where you use uh, Tepic, you don't use it at all. But for us, we use it in the Chantal E4 fight. If we get burned, we use it to cure our burn. Just a little detail that I wanted to uh, say while I'm doing max repel and movement. Yeah, some crazy skips. Yeah, so... The thing is, right, most of the time, developers know skips. They, they know the things you can do. They're very aware. It's just usually people put it in the backlog because there's always bigger issues to tackle in game development. And that's not me, like, speculating whatever. I am a game developer, like, professionally. So I know what's going on behind the scenes. Or, you know, that, you know, I can get a good guess for, like, some to come. Let me put it that way. And I'm going to stand here because that's a little bit faster in my experience to share and talk here. And then we have some plasma grunts. I was supposed to talk to them, but I accidentally moved one more down than I needed to. And here comes the next gauntlet fight. Yep, this is like six to seven trainers. Oh, I thought this was. Oh, this isn't the one that's. Never mind. No, it's eight trainers actually. You know, look at it. Oh, let's that's... see. Watch hog. It's reversal. So for this reversal strat, we only need like to be under 108 HP, but we're kind of just way, way lower than we need to be. <laughs> You kind of want to, you know, I'm going to heal on this turn on the light part. It's going to use fake out anyway. And we have a couple more light parts and they all have fake out. So I'd mm -hmm. rather not get hit by that a little bit too much because I am low HP. Yeah. Uh, might as well just use my turn here to just heal. It doesn't use fake out. What it doesn't even know? use fake out. <laughs> okay. All right, then. Thank you, Gen 5 AI, for being so awesome. Mm hmm. It wouldn't immediately cross my mind either, but I can definitely see, like, someone that was just running the game going, like, man, this cave is so long, this and that. And then someone else go, like, oh, I never had to play for that cave because it was all snowed over. Yeah. Please return instead of reversal. Should be fine. And then it's reversal, reversal. Again, I'm really managing my PP here because, again, we, uh, we're now at a point where we're not going to use our elixir that we're going to pick up later, not until the next gauntlet that comes up. So it's really like a small management game trying to figure out what the best moves and options are. 
Yeah, exactly. So at least this gauntlet is interesting for that reason. Otherwise, it's very boring and very, very time intensive. Because it takes so much time to get to the eighth gym. I love jokes, King Cacnea. But these, these trainer theme, uh, this, this theme. What famous rock group has four men that oh, can't, can't sing? sing. Ooh. I don't know. If it's Queen, I'm gonna scream. Because that's just not true. <laughs> okay. Oh my okay, god. Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> that reminds me of uh, uh, epic rap battles of history. There's like a line that one of the characters says. Oh, I need to remember the line. But basically, they were like, it was like with Theodore Roosevelt. And it was, if Mount Rushmore was a band, you'd play bass or something. I, that was so funny. Yeah. Right. So, event, events are unfolding at the top. It's shocking! I believe it. they say something else in black. Because Reshram is a fire Pokemon. But I'm not sure what the line was. Alright, so this is the last gauntlet. We have to fight these guys uh, one after another. So depending on how I manage my PP, this can either go really well or really, uh, really, 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 really bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, really bad. Mm -hmm. That should be fine. Okay, that's one. Looks like we are more than fine on PP. Yeah. So, Naomi, do you have any other hot together. takes? I mean, I could talk more about purple bears if you want. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You're not even gonna call blueberries anymore, are you? Because they're not blueberries. They're purple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh So yeah, these the yeah, this part of the, this part of the run can be quite just mashing just because you have to just yep. get through a bunch of the different plasma grunts and keep going. And that would says plasma <laughs> we love plasma yes honestly the plasma grunts are kind of adorable they're they, they kind of like yeah all right life part comes in and it, oh it's not using fake out what is up with these life parts <laughs> you got faked out once and you heal you healed for it <laughs> I got faked out on the fake out. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes. <laughs> it is a pool. Are they blue bears or purple berries? Jordan, was that you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Please vote in the poll. We need to know. I need to be able to prove Naomi wrong. Please. I mean, it would be even, even funnier. Yes. If it's a tie. <laughs> Alright, say hello to Zekrom. Yes. 
No! Chat! Come on. We all know it's true. It's purple berries. Come on. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Naomi. No, no, it's not done. It's not done. <laughs> it's four to three right now. We can still win this. Sazu, I don't, I do not use logic, okay? <laughs> I see purple, they're purple. <laughs> they're purple. Oh my gosh. We, we are the, the flat earthers of the next generation, okay? <laughs> the flat earthers. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, I, I did an observation that they're purple, therefore they're purple. And everyone else is wrong. I did an observation that you're wrong, and you're wrong. That's, That's not the same how this logic! Works. <laughs> I'm disgusted by this poll. So disgusted. <laughs> At least I have two people that know the truth. Oh my god. See, exactly! Flawless logic! All right, so, chat, how much did you like that little plasma grunt gone? Yes. How much did you like it? Because we're going to see it again. Yep. There's going to be no another sound. one. Bruh. All right, so we have the option here to avoid. Turn around. I dare you. Haha. -ha. Too smart for you. I pressed Y to get off the bike. Okay. No, that's fine. We can fight this uh, Dorumaka. <laughs> no, that's fine. No, I'm, that's I'm totally okay. fine. I'm fine. Yeah. No, oh, no. It's a sandstorm. Anyway. Get off the bike. What? There's a tile there. There's another spinner here. Please spin. Please spin. Now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Come on. Do it. Do you it. You can do it. Do it. You can do it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, that took so long. Alright. And that's my last elixir. Yo, I'm 29th. Let's go. I really need to upload that other PB that I had the other day. Was it 325? Right? Yeah, wait, where the hell is that castle? Go up. Wait, what the hell? Up. You didn't, up, you didn't up. go far enough. I know enough. this game. I know this game. I know this game. <laughs> I know this game. Don't worry about it. See, this is why I'm 29. Oh my god. Desert Resort. <laughs> look, look. It's a hard game. <laughs> oh, Naomi. I did it. All right. Last look, gobble a, time. Look, a person that doesn't run this game had to tell you where the castle was. I mean, I'm pretty sure in the practice, like before, I did tell you that I usually lose it, and it's up yes, there. Yes, you did. So technically, <laughs> so I did tell what... you where it was. So yes. indirectly, you're telling me through me oh. where it and was. And look at know? the so poll. Right. Let's go. Nope, I'm not looking at it. I'm <laughs> playing the game now. <laughs> oh my god. I refuse. I pretend <laughs> I do not see. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So we're gonna be using, yeah, we're... Now we don't have, well, we still have to worry about PP because that, oh, that elixir is your last, is that your last PP restoring item? Yes, but we're gonna have heals in between at this point, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. Okay. So PP management is way less, like, rever I'm going for reversal because we're not using it a lot. Yeah. Anymore anyway. The only thing that we really want to keep using is return for the gym dragon Pokemon. There's only one moment we can actually really use reversal to kill, but Okay. There's no real point to it. 
Do 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 do. Nope, nope, do not <laughs> at me. Do not at me. I pretend I did not see. I did not see that comment. Yep. Uh. Using a cute emote as well. How dare you, Joey? <laughs> that emote is adorable. You know, uh, you know what I think of your opinions about Blueberries, Jordan, and the seven others? I think your opinion is this Pokemon, Garbodor. Alright, cool, that was the bit. Uh, oh, right. Yep, yep, alright. Uh, Absolute Garbodor. I voted, hey, Jordan voted Purple Berries! <laughs> I have made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what? It's fine. I'm supposed to be here anyway. Yeah. Never mind, Journey. You're cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Console. Oh, so it was five to seven. All right. The blueberry resistance is crumbling before us. Well, he they didn't say if they were going to vote. No, nope, they, def they definitely implied it. So I'm just going to uh. take what I can. Exactly, exactly, no, no, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, whose side are you on? You vote purple <laughs> berry, but then you go with the blueberry people. Come on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Freaking bluey. <laughs> Cyber <sighs> Chaos. Alright. Chat, I have some really good news for you. Like, really good news. It's like the best news for this run as well. Coming up are the last two Plasma Grunts in the entire run. We never have to fight a Plasma Grunt after that again. I know, I know, I'm ecstatic as well. Chaos is always the way to go, true. I mean, true? Shadow wasn't wrong. I don't think you think I run po uh, I run Sonic games. I was about to say you 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 brought up a lot of Sonic references, even though I've never seen you run a Sonic game. Yep, that's correct. You never seen me run a Sonic game. Have you actually a, run Sonic the, games before? That's the second to the last run. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, follow me, set me free. Oh, sorry, Sonic moment. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's garbage bags with these crunch. Goodbye, garbage bag. And this is the last life part. We are now SRS <laughs> Marathon. Yes. We're very serious. I know it stands for something else. We are now at... <laughs> Sonic... Yeah, it's Sonic... It's SSR, Jordan. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jordan is truly a person of chaos. Yes. Alright, we're actually, like, in the last stretch of the game. Like the last 20%? Typing hard, okay? <laughs> Imagine have to type. Instead of just mashing A and B through another Getz's dialogue. By the way, Getz is monologue. getting cute with the, with the... Yeah, Getz is gonna get cute with these monologues. Because, man, this was a long one. And then we're gonna just have a couple more, like, back to back. It's kind of insane. Luckily, we have Alda here. Alda is always good people. 
All right. We're gonna go back to uh, Icarus, I Icarus or Icarus City. I don't know. How do you say it? Icarus or Icarus? Uh, I was. I don't know. I say Icarus, but like it could be Icarus City. I guess. I feel like it would be Icarus, right? Like that. That I feel like that's what the intent was. Now I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at the anime. Of course, it's always the anime that gives us the answer, except for the Sonic ones, because they just go with Hydrocity at Hydro City, and they never put, you know, put it to sleep. All right, so we're gonna accept the Lightstone here, which is Reshiram, our legendary mm -hmm. Pokemon for this game. And Reshiram is very important for this run. Reshiram is overall a better Dragon type than Zekrom. Um, not faster per se, but it makes up for it in special attack and just mm -hmm. overall better attacking stats. So for the run, it's faster to go with Reshiram, which is why we run Pokemon Black version and not Pokemon White version. So we're gonna go back to uh, Icarus Icarus City. Kid Icarus. Okay, chat. Now another hot take. Which what? Which Upolution City is better, black or white? Uh, definitely white. I forget, which one is the futuristic version? That's black. Okay. Then yeah, I pick black. <laughs> You're so wrong. <laughs> anyway, we uh, have Bianca fight. She yeah. has a Stoughton now, and that Stoughton is can kind of hit hard, because I have to work up twice. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little bit of health management now. Because right now, Reversal doesn't care. We don't care about Reversal at all. What we do care about is there is one trainer with a Drudigan that we want to survive in the gym, so we really have to manage our health for that. I hope Saturn does also do two workups. It did. Thank you for the free win. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Samurai time. Shout out to Samurai. Cool Pokemon. I originally wasn't that big of a fan. Of it, because it's like, man, you know, do wide on two feet was so much cooler. But then, you know, Samurai starts to grow on me. And I also, mean, it... one, one oh, thing, ahead. yeah, one thing that was never really clear to me up until like I finally like, googled it. It actually does have swords that it can use for battle mm -hmm. in its uh, in its arms and forearms. It's actually kind of cool. One thing that really brought, like, I didn't even use it in my PLA playthrough, but, like, right. Hasui and Samurott is just really cool. It really looks cool. So, like, I've, I've gotten a new appreciation for Samurott ever since Arceus. So, but I've, but to be honest, Oshawott has always been my favorite out of the three anyway. For me, it was always epic. It turns into big bacon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't mind that. I know. Oh, my favorite bridge. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. <sighs> Another oh, one along time. This. I guess this. Yeah, <laughs> and it's gonna be the hero. Yeah, this is not necessary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm, liberation of Pokemon. Yeah. He basically tells us that people are gullible to release their Pokemon, so he's already being kind of a, a meanie. I suggest you need some courage, just because you're going to need it. Nope, I just need RNG.
Cheaty Gamer X, new record holder. Yo, is that Fling? The TM Fling? Yeah. Whoa, I got flung the TM Fling. You got flung the TM Fling. <laughs> no Fling. I'm, uh, nope. Yeah. I'm, yeah, uh, I'm Ram your page, <laughs> SMH. All right, at least we get Elder here now. Elder is cool, people. Elder is cool. Yeah, what's the worst Elder can do, really? Wait. No! Yeah. It's another guess, his mom. Like, why do you do this to me, Elder? Or Alder, whatever you call him. Hero, Dragon, Legend! God. Give me Charlatan. Freed, Pokemon. Watch this little plasma grown at the end here. <laughs> Without Pokemon, I'll be lonely and sad. Me too. All right, here we go. I'm gonna talk to the gym leaders now. The spoiler alert, Iris is actually a gym leader. Mm. Whoa. I'm sorry, yep. but Drayden is just the most giga chad. I love Drayden. <laughs> I love Drayden so he much. He looked kinda scary, don't worry, he's the strongest trainer for Nova when talking about Alder. Yeah, so, know, right? Alder's gonna lose to Zekrom. Yeah, Pokemon speedruns, woo! <laughs> Thank you, Andy, you're truly a friend. Hey. Yeah, I, I don't get why I'm still getting except these marathons and commentator spots. I, just don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand why you let me commentate, <laughs> but okay. What do you mean? You've run this Pokemon game before? Totally. You finished this game before? Yeah. <gasps> Whoopsie. Oh Whoopsie. All right. So we just learned about the legendary Pokemon. I guess there's lore there. I don't care. I'm just going to go to the gym now. <clears throat> because, hey, if you like previous gauntlets, this is also a gauntlet. I think we countered it with nine trainers deep. Yeah, including, including the gym leader. <laughs> so. Because you cannot skip any of the trainers in this gym. Nope. Do, 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 do. Hello, Webster. All right, so the strategy for this gym is uh, return. Yep. It's just return. I know, right? <laughs> don't don't feed into her delusion. <laughs> I have a very bad case of not finishing games. So, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. That backlog thing that you got is is quite a thing. Uh, just, Yo, Owen? Just a little bit. So this is the dino I could technically use reversal on. And I'm just gonna, because I can. You don't have to. Yeah. Also, a good dragon line dino. Love dino. Yes. Yeah. Only takes forever to evolve, though. Like level 63 to get a high dragon or something. Oh, yeah, it's really late. It's like 64, I think, if I'm not mistaken, actually. I thought 63. That might it be might one. be 63. 64, six, 64 sounds right, but. I thought it was 63 because the joke was high dry, like gone, like the, the three. Maybe? Oh, that, that actually makes sense. I thought that was the joke, but I might be wrong. And before it's actually right. 67. 64! Woo! Damn. Pokemon really, really screwed the pooch with that one. I know, that's actually a really good I pun. Agree. Um. Hot takes for shield good. Hey, you can just say it on stream. I know! <laughs> Don't hide in the chat. 
I didn't Why hide my, my purple berry comms here to, either. <laughs> yeah, oh. Sword and Shield is unironically one of my favorites, just because I put so much time into the game. I put 400 plus hours into Sword and Shield, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, there's a Dreading coming up with Revenge as one of its moves. Oh yeah! Um, and I'm looking and calculating. I either have to heal for the next fight after, and then heal again, which will lose time, or I'm just lucky and High Dragon Dreadagon just decides to not do revenge. Let's hope for that second scenario. Yes. If it quits, I'm dead, by the way. And we have to sit for this entire gym again, and they'll walk to the gym as well. Or no, I could fly here, I think, already. I hope so. Kinda awkward. Now, this gym is actually my least favorite Pokemon gym of all time. It's just so slow. And game design-wise, it's just really bad. Well, like, in aesthetics, though, I really like this gym. Like, the aesthetic of it. But, like, it's just so slow. I just think so it's you bad say, design. Would you say this gym is an OSHA violation as well? There are no handrails. Oh, true. True. When I press up, I don't fall, though. So I guess they're in the clear. <laughs> true. Hold on. Yeah, I need to heal. That rough skin. So there's another Drudding coming up. And that does 21. I only have 8. So unfortunately, I do have to heal and lose a little bit of time here. That's fine. We can just super potion it. Okay, and then Pokemon Y. Fair enough. I like I liked Y. I got it back into Pokemon because of Pokemon Y. I got back into it because of Auras. So yeah, and then I played I Y. Walk down there. That. That's dumb. Da -da -da. Say hello to Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Get dunked on. Yeah, so this dragon would have killed me. I just... I thought Eveltal as a Y was kind of clever. I do not understand how Xerneas constitutes to an X. I know they yeah. like highlight, but it's so bad. It, it really is like it's a weird. Yeah, because Yavalto literally is a Y like. <laughs> but like Xerneas is just eh. for real. Oh, so hello, Casito. Uh, Press Plum to bless this run. All right, so again, I get why they're doing this. Like that we have to go back and press a thing game design wise. It's just really dumb. Do, 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 do. All right. Yeah, so I can see, like, the horns make sense, but, like, the little nips at the bottom to finish the X are kind of just bad. Yeah. Like, Zygarde was clearly a Z, and that wasn't overdoing it for me. Just freaking... Ah, XYZ. Just, ah. Look, they ran out of uh, a gemstone and colors, apparently. Alright, we're kind of just finishing this up. There's one more trainer after this, which is Veteran Kim, an ultimate trainer for this gym. Bye, Dara. I will admit, dog form is great. 
I like dog form. I just wish they did like the whole Zyger thing in this generation and not skip it to like generation 7. Oh wait, hold on, Zyger's not in this game. I meant gen 6, I'm dumb. I wish they did it in gen 6. Yes. Well, technically Zygarde wasn't even in Gen 6. It was. You can catch it. Uh-huh. No, you can't. <laughs> That's Gen 7. I'm confused. Gen 6, you cannot catch Zygarde. I have a Zygarde in Gen 6, though, like in the cave, right? No. Wasn't there a cave you could get it? Well, no. What game have I been? Me it's a Terminus cave. So it is in Gen 6. Yes. What? See? Yeah, it is in Gen 6. What are you talking about, Paige? I didn't know you could get what? Never mind. Yeah, you can. It's locked on. Apparently. Lot, though. Like, it's like, deep, deep, plot, like, Hall of Fame. Okay. I forgot then. <laughs> it's a post game. <laughs> like I know it was like a post game on like Mewtwo was. Oh, okay. Alright, Drayden. So this is This is like the last gym leader, right? He's also the biggest joke. To fight against. For real. Oh, Dragon Dance. Oh. And we then win. it doesn't matter. And crit <laughs> just crit to <laughs> rub salt in the wound. <laughs> For real. Dragon time. Dragon the Haxorus. monster with its other ability too. Like, rep skin's kind of bad, but yeah, I think it has she sheer force. I think it's its other ability, and that's really good. And it's really good, yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Gen five has really good dragon designs. Just saying. I just wish that there was more to Dredigan. Dredigan is a crayon, okay? And you can't tell me otherwise. I, I really feel like it should have gotten, like, an evolution <laughs> or something. Dredigan is a crayon. No one can tell me otherwise. <laughs> it's a rough skin Pokemon. Uh... Was it like... I, I need to catch up on my lore and Dredigan. But I believe it was like a dragon Pokemon that could fly and stuff. But then it, then it just, I guess, evolved to not need those features anymore. So it just has wings, but it doesn't do anything for Dredigan anymore. Yeah. Something like that. All right, so Professor Juniper, if you haven't noticed with Juniper at all, Juniper throughout the game has been giving us Pokeballs. So um, she's going to give us a massive ball here. Was not a theme I caught up I caught up on until like started running this game and do a bit more, you know, look into the things a bit more because I'm just kind of mashing text. Like it's kind of cool that there's like a theme that hey, Professor Juniper always gives you the Pokeballs that you need. Just a neat little thing. All right. So Thunderous has appeared. Uh, we don't care. Dredigan is a rocket pop. Huh, I could see that. Okay. <laughs> and the last spin in here. Hold on. Final Sharon fight. This route's theme is fantastic. Yes. Alright, so the strat the Sharon is uh return. The entire thing. You cannot lose. If I lose, I will quit Poco speedrunning forever. Alright, we won. Yo, big pig. Love and bore. This feel like firefighting just doesn't make sense for this guy, but whatever. 
Skim Sage. Broccoli. And then the cool thing about Lifer here, it doesn't have fake out, so we can just attack without, you know, getting hit and stunned. Oh, that's Sharon. Alright, we are literally on the last fights. We have an Acer in the left, and then it's the Elite Four. So we're going to get some max revives that are going to be useful in case our Stoutlands does get uh, hit a little bit too hard. Um, we're going to have an Ace Trainer here with a very cool first Pokemon. So everyone prepare yourselves. Don't spoil it. So those spinners, I only have to care about the bottom spinner because the top spinner, the veteran, cannot see you over there. So you can kind of just skip the whole thing. And uh, we have a back check. Cool thing about this back check is there's like little puzzles that you have to do based on the previous badge. So this this area is like fire, water, and grass. This uh, this area is more like. Normal type focus, so if you go into this grass, get normal type Pokemon, you have to fight. Next area is just going to be a giant structure of a bug, an insect Pokemon. You know, it's very themed. Next part is just going to be uh, like generators and whatnot on the right and the left side. Then you walk past. I just want to have a couple of minerals to kind of just show the mining nature that Plane has and, you know, ground type Pokemon. This area, we, uh, we're just going to walk on air. We have another ice puzzle. Easy. And then we have the legendary area where we have the two dragon Pokemon of legends, Reshiram and Zekrom. And then we just have to get through Victory Road as fast as possible. All right, final trainer here with a very cool Pokemon that she's uh, just gonna call out. I think everyone will like this one. Candy Floss! It is Candy Floss. Unfortunately, I also have to say goodbye to Candy Floss. Goodbye, Candy Floss. No! You monster. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's up Striker. We speed tie is up Striker, so let's just hope we're faster. Thank you. Yay! That's the only required trainer, but there is there is a really funny spinner coming up later, so not out of the woods yet. Not these yet. two guys. Hi, that's way long down. This game. One thing this generation doesn't have is just max repels automatically replenishing or like having the option to automatically replenish them. Yep. That started in black and white too. Wow. And you got the rare encounter. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so uh, I'm switching main to Excadrill and do a black and white super run instead. Yeah, totally. That's the only thing I know about the run that has Excadrill. And it's a pain in the butt to minute. <laughs> From what I've heard. Alright, this is the pain in the butt spinner. Please turn now. Do it. Go for it. Spin. Please. Okay. Now do it again. Thank you. And okay. You still... So I just pressed. I just tapped it, but the bike was like, "Okay, cool. Let's just do it." You know what? <laughs> Fine. Hi, Dwayne. Hi, Dwayne. <laughs> we meet again. How you doing, Dwayne? <laughs> The rock.
The rock is fucking. Yo, Scalopeat though? Pretty base Pokemon. One of my favorite Gen 5 mods. It's really cool. And it's gone. And it's gone. Now because Marshall's coming up, I do want to heal. I mean, I don't do this, but yes. I don't trust Marshall at all. I'm a bit slow menuing. I cannot find my items all the time in this game. Please, bike. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, buddy. Um. <clears throat> Almost out of the victory road now. Yep. Thank you, bike. Holy shit. Mm. Come on! <laughs> My god, this bike. Uh, it's so dumb. You sure, it's, you sure it's the bike, Naomi? You yes. Sure? It's 100% <laughs> the bike. I cannot control it. Oh my gosh. Alright, we did it. <laughs> We're in the Pokemon League. So we just have to beat the Elite Four, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we just have to beat the Elite Four because the champ is already beaten. Yeah. We're just that good at Pokemon. All right. Okay, I do. So there's going to be a banger theme for the Elite Four. So get your jamming and dancing emos ready. And I do need to focus for it. I'm going to explain right now what I'm going to do. I'm going to use Guard Spec that we bought at the, all the way to the start of the game. And then I'm going to use Work Up, Work Up, and then Return to take out the Throw. Heal when I need to. We take out the Conqueror, the Mien Shell, and then we have to fight the Sock. Sock has Sturdy, so we have to crunch it and then return it. But I will be in a health range for Sock if it crits me, kills me. So we're going to hope that that doesn't happen. Yes. I accidentally talked to it instead of saving. Oh, so, buddy. It's going to go great. Good luck. It's going to go great. Right. I'll try to calm when I can, but I really need to focus real quick. Yeah, so. I know. That's fine. Yes. Not good. That crit is really bad. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and return here. Another return to the end show. We already chopped this way too much for this to be safe. So I'm, I am gonna take a healing turn actually. Okay. It's. 56, 66, though. Oh, let's just go for it. <sighs> anyway, uh, I should have gone for the heal turn. That's fine. So the reason that's fine is because I can just send him Wubat and use a Max Revive. Yes. All I have to do is press the right Pokemon for the Max Revive. That is for Max Revive. There we go. We got it. Here we go. fine. I'm gonna go for one workup before return, just to be safe. Alright, now's the fight. That was the fight. Alright, that was not ideal. I should have gone for the healing turn. That's fine. Again, we just have to... You got the high roll, so it's not, your, it's not totally your fault. <laughs> Again, it's... Uh, what are we right now at for time? Because I kind of don't know. Let's see, how much exactly. it's 308. Oh, we'll definitely finish below S, that's for sure. Um, 25? 
is a estimate. Like twenty five uh, minutes more, or three three. Uh, right now, twenty five. Yeah. Yeah, something around there. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. right, Grimsley also saving. Grimsley starts out with a um, Scrafty. And it has Brick Break. We need to take two turns. We need to use Guard Spec to protect ourselves from the Crocodile Intimidate. And we need to use Work Up. So, let's see. Uh, work up. Return. Okay. All right. Oh my god. That's <laughs> That's fantastic. All right. Keep it all down. We can be, uh, take the shop out with a reversal. I'm pretty sure you don't even need to be low HP because it's four times effective. You do. You do. The power uh, is very important. If, if I'm over 137, it doesn't kill. Okay. Good to know. A special hyper potion here? That's fine. Alright, Caitlyn coming up next. Caitlyn is a real, real, real problem in this run. And it's just because she has one move on her Renucleus. That's Focus Blast, and if it crits, basically it's over. So, I can never find my healing items. I really need to probably learn where they are. All right, here we go. Caitlyn time. We will be saving as well, because I really do not want to get hit by this crit that the Focus Blast can have. But just so you know, Focus Blast by just itself already does 98 to 116. Yes. Which is more than half my HP already. So the moment it crits, it's just over. And I'd rather save and soft reset for that. This theme does go hard. This thing comes so hard. Right. I do need to have to do work up here. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. It missed! Much. Woo! Alright, we win. GG. Now, the reason why we're not using Crunch during this fight is because Stab. That's it. Stab. Yep. And also, if you were to, for some god awful reason, overuse Crunch, technically you cannot beat Chantal. You need Crunch to beat Chantal. Yep. But, like, there's no way you can lose to Chantal. So... You know, we just kind of win. Yep. All time. Also, good good thing to call out. Gen 5, first gen, where you can pick which order you want to do the leaf form. Yep. Alright. Final member, Chantal. And this, this is really the reason why we kept Crunch on until this point. It's because, well, for one, it does cover a couple of our weaknesses with rock types, but also. You cannot beat Chantal otherwise. Alright. We're just gonna win. Last time to jam to this team, everyone. Yep. 
Jam jamming time. Nakro Vigrigus usually goes for Will O Whisper, so we try to avoid that, but it went for Psychic, which is the best option for us. Alright, cool. Uh, Chandelure here has Flame Body, so if we get burned from that, we do have to heal, so we can just use the old Chateau. Did not get Flame Body. Let's go! Woo! Here we go. Now it's Chantal. Oh, Chantal. That's the E4. So that, means, that means we're done, right? We just have nope. to fight the champion, right? Nope. What? You're wrong. I'm wrong. The champion's already defeated, and I finally have a toilet break because I have to go for like a while now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to comment on it, but I'm getting close. I <laughs> know I really need to. Okay. <laughs> I'm bleeding my medication. Oh my god. I'm my medication. My goodness. Oh my gosh. Alright, there's gonna be a cutscene. I will actually have to go to the toilet. It's really fun doing marathon runs, because the one marathon run I did at BSG. I also just went to the toilet and there's like a camera, you can see me walk out. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's really funny! <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so N has beaten the champion already. So now it's up to us to beat N. And now the biggest confusion in architecture in history is coming up. Uh, good luck this two minutes, BRB. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the greatest iteration of Ecrotexture that you have no idea how this happens. <sighs> oh my goodness. And this is what you get for being in PSR. You get no bathroom break except usually the end. Uh. Bats or big castle, true. While we're on our bathroom break, just uh, want to thank Vince for the raid. Thank you very much, Vince. And uh, we got lots of great more runs coming up. Um, we'll kind of go over it later, but we have uh, Legends Arceus race coming up next. That'll be a really good one. It's so true. That. With oh, the new record, world record holder. Did I make it? Yeah. We, uh, no. A little. Yeah, a little a few, bit. A few of, seconds. A few oh. seconds. All right. Well, at least I'm underestimate. I know what, what time we're coming up right now, but I, it's now roughly 10 to 12 more minutes of this. Yeah. And uh, now we have to fight off all, all the seven sages, right? Yes. But little do they know, I have really good Pokemon with me. Oh, they're so okay. good, they're not even mine. Oh! I know. <laughs> That's why. I threw out my level 7 play. <laughs> my level 18 little Nora. Uh. I'm not gonna do all these leaders. Uh, fun fact, the Stranton leaders aren't here. The real reason is because they couldn't probably like line up the gym leaders. Yeah. In a way they, that would have looked appealing. But the narrative reason is that Bianca couldn't get to Strident City in time to get the gym leaders here. So, you know, fun detail.
right? We have a lot of dialogue here with the Shadow Triad. For the first time ever, they actually decide to give us lore. Yep. Also, the last time ever in this game, they will do that. Um, Some more bangers as we go through the castle. The castle theme. I love this castle theme. We don't go into End's room, do we? In the speedrun? No. Why would we? I don't. Th I didn't think so. I was, I was like, I was like, I don't think you have to for story. And here you see Getsus is just doing stuff for himself. <laughs> As usual. As usual. And there's N. Alright. N is gonna throw out Zekrom in a bit. But like he has obviously he has to, you know, flaunt his Zekrom and it's kinda Of course. <sighs> yeah, so look at all the water in the background right now. Just keep, you know, you know, keep the water in, in mind real quick. It's gonna be gone in a second. And there's that realm. We're gonna have another uh, dragon Pokemon show up. We're gonna catch Reshiram here. Yep. Now, we hope Reshiram has good IVs and stats. It's kind of useful for not, you know, this fight for Zekrom, sure. We do want to take out the Zekrom with this. But it's especially useful in the fight with Getsus. Mm -hmm. Get some hits in. These spoilers. two fights are super difficult. These two fights are super difficult. Yeah, it is a spoiler. I'm sorry. Now, these spoilers. Two fights are actually really you're difficult. not fighting just N. Yeah, no, I do have to say when the timer ends, so you know, it's, it's not after gets this as well. As well. Last last marathon I ran this game at, I accidentally stopped the timer there. So you know, I have to call it out. I love Reshiram. Rishram I'm just wondering really cool. where Zekrom went in all of this. Where N went, where I went. Yeah. Just something we're here now. Banger team again. Mm hmm. Ball there. Yes. Unfortunately, we don't get to hear much of that theme, even though it's really good. It's so good. Honestly, of all the Pokemon games, you know, there's always like a soundtrack or like a song that's not that good. I fully believe this game just has a perfect soundtrack. Don't think there's one song I don't like on here. Hmm. Cool. All right. Focus mode. So, Zekrom, uh, two Dragon Breaths, and we should be able to finish it off. The Caracosta is an issue. Because we need to bring out Stoughton and the Caracosta as a priority move, and it hits really hard. The ideal situation is that we Dragon Breath Zekrom, then we Dragon Breath Caracosta, and we get taken out by the Caracosta. We don't want to damage the Caracosta too much. 
right? Good hit, good paralysis as well. Terracosta could take me out with one hit regardless of my HP because of uh, Stone Age. This yep. is pretty good. This is ideal. Right, now we need to take out this thing, and this thing is annoying. Please hit with your Stone Age. Thank you. Yay! And it paralyzed as well. That's really good. This is actually the ideal situation. Paralyzed and get one hit KO'd. Yeah. So now we just need to. Oh, that's not the move. Work up twice and finish it off a crunch. This is. And the paralysis didn't. Oh! I have to heal because Kyra yeah. does have a priority move. That is interesting. Again, I want to get Yeah, this Karakasa is a problem. Yeah. Uh, now we fight the Among Us guy. There you go. Among Us. Now it's actually Clang Clang. <laughs> I don't think there's a kill here. Clang Clang is not playing along today. Mm. Fine. And now it's just we win Venelux and Archaeops. Yep. Cool. That was in. That's also the only moment in the game where N is referred to as Plasma N instead of Pokemon Trainer N. So, you know, fun little mm. fact. But man, I wish it ended. Get it? And ended here. <laughs> nope. It does not, because Getsis is still here. The end fails and guess is like, well, this is not good. I guess I have to take it in my own hands. Got me completely off guard. That's what I said. Thank you, Groucho, for the boo. I, I love it when people appreciate my puns. <laughs> All right, this is also a pretty hard fight. Unfortunately, we don't have the Dennis. Actually, no, wait, this is the one. No, is that black and white too? I can't remember now. <laughs> oh my god, that emote. <laughs> yeah, it's Gen 2. So this uh frequency is toxic and starts stalling is fine. Just don't do that three times in a row, thank you. Alright, this buffalo is an issue. When are you supposed to swap to that one right away, but head charge goes a little bit too much for my liking, so I like to just go with uh, go there. <laughs> Here I am in the background singing Dennis. <laughs> Why? Because it says Dennis in the song. It does not. Yes, it does. Don't lie. It says Dennis. And if you turn here. <laughs> and go for the range, because I'm not in good HP value for reverses to hit. And those were the hardest Pokemon to take down. We're down the home stretch with Seismitoad, Bishrap, yeah. and Electros. Once we defeat him, this is not the end of the run yet. We have to wait until the first full black frame after N says farewell. So that's like another minute, two minutes after this fight. 
I will call it time when it is. So first the last two Pokemon, Bisharp and Electros. Electros also such a Pokemon. Alright. That's Gutsis. That's Those the are final all the fights fight. in Pokemon Black. Any percent. Oh my goodness. So Gets is gonna get taken away, of course, and you know. Team Plasma is gonna get apprehended and N is just gonna leave and go on his own journey with Zekrom. Yep. Alright. So much dialogue here. Oh. Yep. Oh. All right. Final heart to heart with N. All right. Here we go. Thank you so much for joining the run. Yeah. It's been a pleasure to open PSR Marathon with Pokemon Black here today. Thank you, Paige, thank you. for coming in for commentary. Uh, and thank you, everyone, at the PSR Marathon team for having me as well. Please check me out on my Twitch channel. It's Naomi Plays with three eyes. And uh, I I do Pokemon speedruns. I do other speedruns. I like platformers and whatnot. I also just play games casually. And I hope I see you guys in my chat soon. Now, without further ado, Timer ends when N tells us farewell. And time. All right. All right, GG. Great run, Naomi. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Paige, as well. Yes, I will be back you. later. I will be one of the hosts later. So you will see, you, you won't get rid of me yet. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we finished pretty decently under estimate too, so uh, see if we uh, get a little bit started early. Um, but uh, up next we have uh, Legends Arceus. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic race with Halkiri and the new record holder, Shady, who just got record last night. So uh, that'll be a really great matchup. These guys are very, very um, evenly matched, so uh, it'll be a great, uh, great showing of that game. Yeah, if you, if you do have anything else to say, uh, feel free. Otherwise, we'll go to intermission. I do not have anything else to say. Again, thank you so much for uh, hosting me.